boxes of Diamond Kings to do today. Uh, about 100. Actually, I have more than 100, but uh, I think we have 75 sold. We may have a couple more from outstanding invoices that have not yet been paid. So let's give you a quick look at uh, the setup here. We are surrounded by Diamond King walls and walls of Diamond King boxes, and um, hope we can find some good stuff in here. Diamond Kings is a pretty fun break for me. I had a, a fun time last year doing this with the nice... Um, I don't know, kind of like the balancing out of the hits. We'll see if they do that again this year in 2021. Uh, we have 75 total people. Uh, I think we have up through, where are we at here? 79 total boxes, actually. So let's go ahead and get started. If you paid in late, which is to say like, uh, I don't know, like after like 1 p.m. today, then I, I got you. You're at it. You're just at the end of this list. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Robert, you're up first. Best of luck to you. Let's see what we can find in box number one. A lot less packs in these boxes, as you can see. And no, my hands aren't monstrous uh, compared to these boxes. It's just a small box, only 12 packs per box. All right, so if I can even get this opened up, there it is. So half as many packs as the... Bowman packs that we did last night. Let's see what we can find. Patrick says, let's see some fire jabs. I hope that we can pull some fire tonight. We will see. I just wrapped up filming the throwback Thursday. I didn't have enough time to... It's actually uploaded, but uh, was not able to finish it up to get it um, officially put up on the uh, channel. But it, I'll probably have it up sometime tonight. Nice last pack magic from Throwback Thursday this week. All right, so here we go, box number one. Let's see, we've got two hits in here, starting off with Robert. We've got a key Brian Hayes there for Robert. That's a nice one. I hope we don't have to keep switching these back and forth over and over and over again. For Throwback Thursday today, we're looking for Justin Verlander's rookie card, and there he is. It's a 2006 Fleer tradition. Kyle Lewis upside down. That's a framed mini. Nice one right there. Elegance Christian Pache card. Uh, we've got Frank Thomas, Bryce Harper, Isaac Paredes, Joe DiMaggio, and a spacer. I'm going to have a whole big stack of spacers before the night is through. That's for sure. Curtis says Babe Ruth card is incoming. I hope so. There's a debut Diamond Kings Dylan Carlson card. That's a nice looking card. I like that set a lot. We've got a Mike Trout and our first hit. It is a nice one. Future Hall of Famer, Yadier Molina. So I would say that Panini considers that to be a good hit. So I bet you your autograph is going to be a common auto. We'll see. Jersey Kings, game use, Yadier Molina, nine gold glove, future Hall of Famer in my book. Some people disagree, but those are probably Cubs fans that would disagree with that. When it's all said and done, he'll be there. So that's our first hit. There's Alec Baum debut Diamond Kings as well. Got Sixto Sanchez and DJ LeMayhew. That's going to be a framed purple. And the last card there is going to be a Drew Rasmussen as well. A-Rod's in the house. Hey, A-Rod. Found a couple of your cards, or at least your namesake's card today in 2006 tradition. Let's see what we can find in the second stack. There will be a autograph coming up at some point from this little stack. Let's see what we can find in here. C uh, CPT Captain says that he always enjoys Diamond Kings. They definitely are pretty nice. I enjoy them as well. It's a fun rip. It's a mountain castle at the back. For some reason, the packs in this box get a little hard for me to open today. Mark says, what blast will be in the May uh, $51 Patreon package? Well, it was supposed to be Gypsy Queen, but that got pushed back. So my cases that I've ordered, not going to get them now until maybe July or early August, whenever that comes out. So it looks like it's going to be Heritage, 2021 Heritage once again. Bought some more cases of that. Christian Javier, that's a nice gray border card. He's been having a great season this year. And there he is again, Christian Javier. Let's see what we can find for the autograph. 
it's going to be right there. You can see it upside down. Oh, man, they, they're just making it tough for me. I flip it one way, and then it goes the other way. And it is going to be Ryan Weathers, who, I don't know, he was off to a really good start with the Padres, and it's a relic autograph right there. Ryan Weathers, son of David Weathers, had some really crazy good stats through two starts. Last time I checked his stats was like, Two weeks ago, so I'm not sure if he's been lit. Up. I'm not sure if he's been lit up since then, but he was doing really well for the Padres at the beginning of the season. I haven't checked in since, but that could be a really nice one if he continues doing good things. So, Robert, congratulations. Zach says Ryan Weathers has got hurt, but it's not that bad. He's really good. Yeah, off to a great start. Patrick said he's not personally impressed with Weathers to this point. There's a Mike Trout. Tyler Stevenson to Mountain Castle. And Chris's break says, Hey Jabs, was wondering what spot I'm in. Let's pull some fire. Well, let me check that out. Thank you very much for the super chat. I will check that out right now. Robert, thank you very much. Let me check out Chris's spot as we... Are you Chris Garland, your spot number 69. Um, here is the complete list. I don't know if you can see this or not. There's the list right there. You can pause that, Chris, and see if you're on there. That's the updated list through 79. Just uh, something came up right before the break, and I stopped doing what I was doing and didn't uh, totally forgot about uploading the updated list to Patreon. But anyway, Paul's up next. Let's wish Paul the best of luck as we get Robert's cards put away. All right, spot number two for Paul. Paul said that two's his lucky number. Let's see if that's... Going to bring some good luck. Good luck to you, Paul. Number two. Maybe find a Derek Jeter card for the number two. Let's find out. All right. It's always tough. This They made this flap a little too long. I don't know. We'll see. WW Player says, when will I get the card for the 90K giveaway? If you followed all the directions, then you will have it sometime early next week. Those are all packaged up and ready to go. They will be sent on... Actually, they'll be probably sent out tomorrow. All I need to do is buy the extra ounce stamps and slap them on there. I already have them all packaged up, taped up with extra tape reinforcement, and uh, i got the, the first class stamp on. I just need the extra ounce stamps now. So yeah, you'll probably get them next week, early next week. Paul is in the house there. He says, please give a shout out backyard auctions and pull me some fire. So Paul, thank you very much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. There he is. Shout out to backyard auctions. Let's see what we can find. Brian says, what'd you have for dinner? I had Domino's pizza and it was really good. Some nice Domino's pizza for dinner today. Probably won't eat anything else today. It's been like a Thursday staple recently. All right, so we have a hit right there off the top. It's an Ian Anderson. A very nice one right there. Ian Anderson, a lot of people love this guy. Yeah, pepperoni runadec for sure. Ian Anderson, nice patch or uh, relic auto right there. Congratulations, Paul, on that one. You're going to have a relic coming up at some point as well. Let's see who that's going to be. There's a nice Joe back-to-back -back Joe Adele's. Got to take that. Yeah, Anderson had a great year last year as well. There's Mickey Moniak. Took him like almost a decade to make the major leagues, it seems like, after being a first-rounder. Got all these upside-down cards. I guarantee now the next cards. That, look at that. That's so annoying. We've got a Kirillov right there. Zach says, how much are these? They're about 140 to 150 a box. We've got a nice, elegance Mickey Mantle card right there. The cards are definitely very nice-looking. I'm not crazy about the uh the base cards but i like really like the insert cards a lot like i think the insert cards legacy lithographs right there of big poppy the insert cards are pretty darn nice there's dylan carlson rookie card we've got a framed jesus sanchez there's artist palette shohei otani we've got jake cronenworth debut diamond kings and the last one there is sam huff Let's go through the last pack, or last stack for Sam. No, we're nowhere near sold out. I've probably got 40 boxes left. I ordered a ton of Diamond Kings. 
Of the 100 boxes that I've stacked up on my table, 79 are sold. That leaves 21. And I also have another master case that I can break open if we need to. So if you're a Patreon member, you'd like to grab a box. We can break all night long if you want to. I'll go until 1 a.m. I don't think we're going to be here till 1 a.m. We're starting an hour earlier than yesterday, and these boxes have many less packs. There we go. There's Orion Mount Castle. Nice one right there. Debut Diamond Kings. Christy Mathewson as well. Bobby Dalbeck. Nick Madrigal. Nice rookie. And that is his dual relic, Nick Madrigal. They don't slap the rookie card logo on this one, but pretty cool. Ryan says, what's the um, live stream next week? I think on May 5th, Tier 1 comes out. I ordered five cases of Tier 1 today, so that'll be a nice one. I have to figure out what it is per box, but it's probably going to be around like 209 or something like that a box. Tier 1 next week on Cinco de Mayo, it looks like. So thank you for asking the question. Austin F says Madrigal is a beast. Yeah, he's definitely a good player for sure. That is a higher end one, Ryan. It'll be a, a quicker one with only, I forget how many cards are in a box, but it's not just a few. Next up, we have Bethany at spot number three. Let's grab your box down and see what we can find in the next one of Diamond Kings. I'm wondering how many major legendary autos or relics we're going to find tonight. When I say legendary, I'm talking about. Hall of Famers, Hall of Famers. We will see. Minor League Baseball comes back May 4th, says Austin. That's pretty awesome. I'd like to turn the packs this way. I always like to have this flap on the left, so that's why I'm turning the packs upside down. It's just easier for me to open that way. There's Joey Bart. Maybe I'll just stop flipping the cards around and just put them down the way they come out of here. Is there a Babe Ruth auto in the set? Uh, usually they put some Babe Ruth stuff in here. I would imagine there would be some. Tabletop Geek says, Shout out to Jabs for all the awesome breaks, plus showing and telling us about Steel City Collectibles. I order from them all the time. Here's to hoping we pull a Babe Ruth relic. Thank you very much. Eric Gilbertson says, I just commented on Patreon a few minutes ago. Are you still selling boxes? I am not going to be able to go on Patreon anymore, Eric, to check that. It's just a little time-consuming to switch back and forth. So, Eric, I think you've been in our breaks before, haven't you? You can just send me the money directly through PayPal. Just make sure you include a note with Diamond Kings there, along with um, your address. Let's check out what we have for Bethany. If you haven't uh, been in the breaks before and you're a newer Patreon member, which I, don't, I think you've been around, we will. Uh, I'll just give you my PayPal. So the Ryan, we Ryan Weathers Relic, it's the Ryan Weathers case so far. First hit up. There's a nice Nolan Ryan. Our first numbered card of the night out of 99, 93 of 99. The club, Nolan Ryan. We'll get that one sleeved up. Alex Kirilov. I wonder how many Ryan Weathers cards that we will find tonight. There's a nice plum, Tariq Skubal. Any big hits yet? Nothing worth hundreds of dollars yet. But we're just getting underway. There's Mickey Moniak. That's going to be the autograph. Mickey Moniak. Just talked about him. Phillies fans probably not really big on Moniac. He was uh, a nice prospect years ago. Austin says, well, Weathers has a 0 0.55 earned run average. So, yeah, I feel like when I was looking at the stats, it was right around there as well. I said I hadn't checked him for like two weeks, but I guess he's been hurt. So we've got two youngsters in this box, and Moniac and also a um, Ryan Weathers. Let's check out the rest of this and see what we can find. We got Braylon Marquez. Sports Car Junkies, how's it going? Good to see ya. All right, so here we go. Ian Anderson, we've got Braxton Garrett. We've got a Roger Maris, Gallery of Stars. Davey Garcia. There's Dylan Carlson. So let's see if we can find some of the top rookies now. Ryan Weathers right there. Alec Baum. Got a Max Scherzer framed parallel. We've got a artist proof numbered card. So this has been the best box for numbered cards so far with two. Out of 49, Carl Hubbard, artist proof. Casey Mize. We've got Will Crow in there. Shane Bieber. There's Mickey Moniak framed card. 
Where's Adele at? We, we had back-to-back -back Adele's probably right before he got here. I think we had his debut Diamond Kings along with his rookie card. There's the club. Greg Maddox and Tom Seaver and Tris Speaker are going to be the last ones. We're going to be looking for Sandy Koufax, Bill. Hopefully we can find him. He's advertised prominently on all the boxes. Got a big, huge oval circle. It says, look for Sandy Koufax, autographs and memorabilia. So hopefully we can find a Koufax tonight or two. All right, next up we have Trevor. Best of luck to you, Trevor. From Trevor's Baseball Cards in spot number four. Let's see if we can find you a winner of a box. Brandon says that thumbnail is crazy. Yeah, I figured, uh, I don't know, the the original thumbnail was just a case of this, but it kind of looked a little boring. So I figured, you know what, let's make it look a little more interesting for you guys and show you the behind-the-scenes setup. This probably took me like a good 15 minutes to set up, believe it or not. When I got home, this is what I did. Set up the, uh, the break room with all these boxes and then filmed two videos. Key Brian Hayes is on the back. Scott Lewis just became a member of the channel. Thank you very much for the support, man. Who's the best rookie right now? That's a good question. Jazz Chisholm's been doing really good. Cranworth's been doing really good, but I think a lot of people would probably say Yermin Mercedes from the White Sox, who's hitting like 440. Uh, I think the White Sox may have gotten rained out in the last game, so I, I have to check his stats. That's one to watch. All right, here we go with Trevor's box. Hopefully we can get you one big-name hit. Altuve's not going to be it. There's a key Brian Hayes, which is a nice one. Shoeless Joe Jackson. Upside down Tris Speaker. That's a gray framed card. Jake Cronenworth. Garrett Crochet, Mickey Mantle. And we've got Hank Greenberg, all-time single season RBI leader right there with, what was it, 191, I think? Someone said, uh, Austin said that he's down to uh, 432. Your mean Mercedes, what a bust. Josh Fleming, that makes me happy because it's a relic. I was hoping that would be a relic. It's number, by the way, out of 99. Ben says, uh, hey, Jabs, thank you for all you do for the hobby. Thank you very much, Ben. I really appreciate the kind words. Thanks for being here tonight. There's Joe Adele. Hopefully we have a good autograph for you now. We got the kind of crappy relic out of the way. Let's see where it is. It's probably going to be over on the right-hand side. That's a nice-looking Nolan Arenado Elegance card. Let's check out this side and see who it's going to be. Thomas says that Luis Roberts back in line today. That's good. I inadvertently heard or mistakenly heard that he was on the 10-day IL, so I'm glad he's not. Just missed a couple games. All right, autograph coming up on this side of the box. I'm hoping it's a doozy. Let's see. We got Ryan Sandberg. It looks like it's coming up in this pack. Here it is. It's Oh, it is a doozy if it's an auto. It is. It's an Alec Baum autograph. Kind of a bum corner in that lower left, but a nice auto right there. I told you they kind of do this with Diamond Kings. They'll give you kind of a crap relic and then they'll give you a really good auto or a really crappy auto and give you a great relic it just it seems that way so i'm gonna look for that trend all night a very nice alec Vaughn. really bummed out about the ding on that bottom left corner but a nice card right there for trevor congratulations i wish i could just kind of smooth it out but that's there's nothing i can do about that one that's out of 99 56 out of 99 a numbered auto as well dang it panini let's uh let's be a little more careful when you toss those autos in the packs there's a Yogi Berra. We'll check out the rest of the stack. There's Joe Adele for Austin Farmer back there at the fence, about to make the catch. Will Crow again. We'll be seeing a lot of these cards over and over again. Here's a nice one. Key Brian Hayes out of 49. Three out of 49. Nice low-numbered rookie there. Jake Crenoworth as well. We're sleeving him up. We're sleeving Kirillov up as well. And, oh, there's something else upside down. It is a Sixto Sanchez, and it's just, you know, just a, still nice, but just a numbered card. And we have a George Brett. What is this card? Not sure what this is called. A Diamond King. Hmm. I'd have to pull out the uh, BL. What could BL stand for? 
don't know. Cool insert right there. I'm going to sleeve it up. Artist palette, Nick Niedert, and Shane McClanahan for Trevor. So, Trevor, thank you very much. Congratulations on the nice Alec Baum autograph right there. Brady, how's it going? Good to see you in here tonight. Blackout. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Black leather says Dayton. All right. So, next up is Ethan. Best of luck to you, Ethan, in spot number five. Let's see what we can find for you. Baseball legend makes sense, Dreamer. Here's Ethan. Kevin's in the on-deck circle as we rip our way through about 100 boxes tonight. Each box is taking us on average probably about five minutes, four to five minutes. These are not the biggest boxes, only 12 packs. KS Red says, Jab's starting to warm up. Yeah, we're, we're due for a, hopefully a couple nice hits tonight. I would like to find... A Babe Ruth. That'd be pretty nice. Maybe a Mickey Mantle or Sandy Koufax. I'm expecting Mantle to maybe be in here. I mean, he's got a card in here. So that kind of lets me know that maybe Panini has his rights through the 2021 season. All right, here we go with the left-hand side. There's Rogers Hornsby. Bobby Dalbeck right there. Tyler Stevenson. And we've got Joey Bart, and it is going to, what? Two Joey Barts, and it's an auto Joey Bart. So he's one of the nice rookies. That's going to be considered a big-time hit by Panini. Joey Bart in the minor leagues hasn't done too much this year. Uh, still one of the top prospects. Nice card right there, Joey Bart. Most people have him in their top 10 rookies from this year's class. So, Ethan, congratulations on that one. I bet you your second hit's going to be a crappy relic, and I use that term loosely because, you know, can't really say a hit is crappy, but it's going to be a lesser-named player, probably only worth a buck or two. I'm interested to see who it's going to be. There's the big train, Walter Johnson, out of 49. Get that one sleeved up. Dylan Carlson, Diamond King. So we're going to be probably finding a lot of those top rookies in there. We'll probably have some Mount Castles tonight. Probably have some Dalbecks. Maybe even some Key Brian Hayes. Let's see who that relic is going to be for Ethan. There's Kirillov. And this is case hits to the downtown. So hopefully we have some of those today. We'll see. I do have, um, I don't know, 100 boxes here. That's roughly about eight cases total. Let's see what we've got. Eight inner cases. There's an Alex Bregman, Alec Baum. Who is the autograph going to be? They always have it flipped upside down. So you can always kind of tell if it's coming up or not. And it's, I bet you it's going to be this Ryan Weathers, and it is a relic, so... Oh, we already got the Joey Bart. The, the Bart had an auto on it. So Ryan Weathers is the second hit. Almost forgot that that Bart was a relic and an auto. Harmon Killebrew's numbered out of 25. The Club, nice-looking card right there. We've got a gallery of stars. Satchel Page, nice-looking card right there. Cronenworth and Kirillov go in my sleeve pile. Cody Bellinger framed plum parallel. Kirillov as well. And Dylan Carlson is going to be the last big star. Or I guess we'll sleeve up Mount Castle as well. His cards are dropping off with his slow start to the season, but uh, we'll see if they rebound. So, Ethan, thank you very much. We'll still sleeve up Mountie. Ethan's Elvis covers and more is in the house. Says, good luck all. Hope to find some Bowman tomorrow. So Ethan's Elvis covers is obviously hoping to hit some Bowman on the uh, the retail hunt. Thank you very much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I would expect Bowman to probably be in some stores tomorrow. It's not going to last for long though. If you're going to Target, you're probably going to be the first in line. Well, not actually probably not the first in line if they have that three per person limit. Just you got to be there early. I don't know if they'll have mega boxes or not. I guess some of you guys will let us know. I will not be standing in line at Target, that's for sure. That's I've got to work. So, Kevin, you're up right now. 
see what we can find for you in spot number six. Travis in the on-deck circle. Dayton says, are there one-of-ones in Diamond Kings? Yeah, I believe there are some one-of-ones in Diamond Kings. They're tough to find, as any one-of-one typically is. Unless you're doing like a uh, signature series release, where you can sometimes find multiple one-of-ones in the case. Philip just joined. Thank you very much for being here tonight, man. Really appreciate that. Feeling pretty tired. Didn't go to bed till about 1.15 a.m. last night. Had to get up at 5.30ish today. So not a lot of sleep. I'm feeling it today, that's for sure. Steve says, so targets aren't allowing any lines before 8 a.m. How exactly will that work? People get in line at McDonald's next door. I have no idea. I, are people are going to rush over from wherever. A big flash mob is going to materialize at 8 a.m. at targets of just people that are kind of hanging around pretending to shop. Just all running over the cards. Some targets are not going to sell cards anymore for the safety of their employees. Talked about that a little bit last night, how some targets are putting up signs that say due to uh, unsafe conditions when it comes to selling cards, we're no longer selling them. Heather's got the link for Ethan's Elvis covers and more. Heather, thank you for dropping that link. There's Keith Hernandez. Nice one right there. That's going to be considered a good relic. It's out of 25. 13 out of 25. Bat relic for the New York Mets. He was the 1979 co-MVP along with Willie Stargell. So that means you have an autograph. It's probably going to be a Jake Fleming auto or a Ryan Weathers auto because I bet you they consider that one to be a good hit, Kevin. There's Mountie. Good old Ryan Mountcastle. And Shane McClanahan there. Let's check the next stack. Autograph will be in here. All right, let's see what we can find. In this deck, Dreamer says, love the manager at his target. Very strict and flippers don't have a chance. That's that's good. Maybe that will discourage them. and They'll move on to flipping tickets or something else. Key Brian Hayes autograph. How about that one? That's a great hit right there. Key Brian Hayes rookie autograph, or I guess uh, relic auto right there. He's got a nice signature. A nice one for sure. That's obviously my favorite card of the day so far. I was not expecting that, Kevin. You got a nice Keith Hernandez bat relic. I consider him to be uh, a pretty darn good, you know, solid player. There's the Hernandez. He actually is batting lefty there. He's just following through. Um, Key Brian Hayes, congratulations. A good box for sure. So Diamond Kings, I feel like, off to a pretty good start. Not letting me down with two crappy hits. I always hate it when the hits are, like, really, really junky. We did have one box that was not that impressive so far with two, you know, underwhelming hits. But there's a nice Joe Adele. I feel like they've been pretty balanced so far. Dylan Carlson, nice framed one. And Jose Altuve. So, Kevin, congratulations on the good box. Oh, there'll be some Casey Mize tonight, I'm sure. Let's go ahead and see what we can find in Travis's box right now. Spot number seven of of 80, I think. I think somebody else said they're going to pay. All right, here we go. Next spot up. I haven't decided which product to put in Saturday Showdown yet. It's either going to be Diamond Kings or Bowman 2021. One of those will be represented in the showdown this week. Also got to put together the Jabs Family boxes. I've been working on it, guys. I know some of you have been sending me messages been saying, hey, is there going to be an April Jabs Family box? You know, the uh, the extra little subscription box I put together. I've been waiting on Diamond Kings and Bowman. So right now I'm playing around with the numbers and I'm trying to put it together. I'm going to have a pack of each. I'm seeing if I can make it work with the jumbo pack of 2021 Bowman in there. That's obviously a much, much more valuable pack. If you checked out the preview video... It's like six hundred plus dollar box. All right, so Travis, best of luck to you. Dayton says, "What's the most expensive product that I've ever opened? Probably the two thousand eleven Topps Update Jumbo Box, which is like a seventeen thousand dollar box now. I think it may have been I forget what it was at the time thirteen thousand. All right, here we go. Let's get these spacers on out of here. 
Eddie Stanky, framed card. There's Lindor with his teammate. And um, this teammate was Jacob DeGrom. There we go. We got the case hit. Nick Madrigal, case hit downtown. Congratulations on the downtown case hit of Madrigal. Pretty nice one right there. And let's see what else you got. Here comes your hit, your other hit. It's going to be an Andy Young, and it is an auto Andy Young. Relic auto. Not, not going to pretend I'm impressed by that one. I don't know much about Andy Young. Maybe some of you Diamondbacks fans do. You're going to have a relic in your travel, so let's hope that it's going to be a nice one. I guess they gave you, at least they gave you the downtown case hit, which is worth something. Dream Believer, I'm going to have a whole table full of spacers at the end of this break. I probably will put them to use for writing the name cards on. But yeah, I could see using those for spacing cards out as well. All right, here we go with the next pack. Let's see what we've got. I've got a spacer right there. Ty Cobb, Luis Garcia. There's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Satchel Page. Key Brian Hayes rookie card. Is Alec Baum a hit, says Jorge. He's one that you probably want to take and put out. He hasn't been lighting the world on fire yet this year, but he's a uh, considered one of the top five rookies for sure. All right. Autograph, I think, right? No, Relic we're looking for. We already got the auto of Alex Young. Here it comes. Oh, it's a Hall of Famer. See the baseball Hall of Fame logo? I told you, I was like, who the heck is Andy Young? And now they're going to balance out the box with a George Brett. Hall of Famer George Brett game use jersey. What's up with some of these corners, by the way? That's got a bum corner. Nice George Brett, though. Jersey Kings. So you ever jam these into the feeder machine to, to insert the, uh, re the relics into the packs? Not a good job. Don't force the cards in there, but look at that. There's like a piece hanging off of it. Dang it, Panini. George Brett, Hall of Famer. There he is again. So, Travis, thank you very much. Congratulations on the case hit. Next up, we have Chris Sanders. He's in spot number eight. Give me a second to get Travis's cards put away. So far, we've had two bum corners, and they've both been on fantastic cards. A numbered Alec Baum auto. And now the good old GB, Georgia Brett. All right, let's go, Chris, see what we can find for you. Does Target have these? You might be able to find these at Target. I'm not sure if they're doing retail or not. All of these were purchased off of the internet in case form. I bought master cases, which have 24 boxes each. All right, here we go, Chris. Best of luck to you. And flip the packs around. Biggest hit last night, Tony, was the uh, Austin Martin um, Redemption autograph, Chrome. I think someone said $800. Also had a nice Yolvi Cespedes worth about 500 bucks. Christian Pache out of 100. Patrick says Box 18 has a huge hit. I think that's your box. You're taking it sealed, though, so... That'll be up to you to find out if you decide to break it open or just sit on it for a while. All right, here we go. Chris, good luck. Let's see what we can find for you. There's Dylan Carlson. How much is a box of these? I have them for $149, which includes the shipping and the PayPal fees. If anybody wants extra boxes, you can add on. And we'll break them. We got a Roger Maris out of $49. And... Let's see who the hits are going to be. Joe Morgan. That is going to be a framed card. It would have been very, very nice to have an autograph of Joe Morgan, who recently passed away. Here comes the hit. It is going to be... Oh, it's Randy Rosarena. Very nice. And it's his Jersey Kings relic. So Randy Rosarena, of course, took the uh, hobby by storm last fall when he just absolutely went off in the month of September and October. That is a nice hit right there, Chris. Congratulations. He went from a relative unknown rookie, kind of an afterthought, toss in of a trade from the uh, uh, Cardinals to the, the Rays, and he's really just he lit it up. He's doing okay this year. I think he's hitting like 280-something, maybe a couple dingers. Not going crazy yet, but having a respectable season thus far. 
So you got your relic, Chris. Now let's see what we've got. Gamer says his LCS has he's at 145. Very good price. And I factor in um, the shipping. I put about, I figured about five bucks for shipping, and then I figured about um, maybe like four bucks for PayPal fees. So I think maybe I bought I bought them for like 139 a box or something like that. All when it's all said and done, ten dollar upcharge for all the fees. Let's see what we've got. There's Jake Cronenworth. That's going to be a framed. Nice card right there for Chris. And we've got an artist palette, Flaherty. There's an Alec Baum right there. We've got a Dalton Varsho gray frame. And we've got our hit coming up. You can see it upside down. Here it comes. It's going to be a Luis Patino. So Luis Patino is the hit. I guess Randy Rosarena was considered to be the uh, the standout hit, so they gave you a Luis Patino, which um, I think there's an Enya on his name. I don't know if they're putting it in there. I think it's actually Luis Patino. I'm not sure, but uh, I felt like there was a little, you know, little tilde on the end. But maybe uh, whoever typed the card up just didn't know how to insert that, which sometimes happens. So, Chris, thank you very much. Congratulations on the Rosarena. All right, next pack our next box up is spot number nine. It is going to Brian Day. Here we go, Brian. Good luck to you. Somebody said we're in for a three hour night. That's fine with me. I don't mind uh, breaking till like 11 p.m. Probably will go to bed again right after. Try to get caught up on some sleep tonight. Then I'll probably work on some uh, packaging stuff tomorrow throughout the day. Maybe sleeve some Bowman cards. Team bag some Bowman cards. Work on getting those caught up so that when, the, when I start shipping out the May Patreon packages, we can get all those in the mail. All right, Bri, here we go. Let's see what we've got for you. Rod Carew after the spacer. There's an Alec Baum. All right, let's see here. Hits our first one is Sixto Sanchez, who's a nice rookie, flame-throwing rookie. It's a relic out of 99. That is a nice one. I'm hoping they don't consider that to be a major standout hit. It's probably worth like four or five bucks, maybe. We need to find you a good... Autograph. Now there's Alejandro Kirk, who's a nice hitting catcher for the Blue Jays. Christian Pache, rookie card. Got another spacer, which we'll toss aside. Key Brian Hayes. We got Sam Huff. Joe Adele, artist palette card. Nice looking card right there. And Key Ruiz. Let's go into the next stuff. We, uh, Chris says, what's the best card so far? We had an Alec Baum numbered autograph. We had a Key Brian Hayes uh, autograph patch. Who else we have? Joey Barton numbered autograph relic. George Brett relic. Just had Randy Rose Raina come out. And uh, we'll see who's coming up next. For Brian, Victor's in the on-deck circle. Joe Adele's on the back. Here we go. All right, we've got Pete Rose right there. There's Mike Trout. And we have another key, Brian Hayes. How about that one? A nice-looking card right there. I'm telling you, he's one of the top rookies in this class. Doesn't really get a lot of uh, you know notoriety yet because he's not playing. He played two games and got hurt. Hit a home run on opening day. And, you know, if you're a big baseball fan, you know that he was absolutely crazy last year for half of the year. Rookie of the month in September, basically rookie of the half year. And a nice card right there. Autograph of Key Brian Hayes for Brian. I'm telling you, that's a good card. Son of Charlie Hayes. Some of you might remember Charlie Hayes caught the last out of the 1996 World Series in foul territory, if I'm not mistaken. Going crazy. Got Shoei Otani. Charlie Hayes played for the Pirates for a minute, if I remember correctly as well. Let's see what else we've got. Nothing else crazy going on there. There's Joe Adele, which will get saved up for Brian. So congratulations on the key, Brian Hayes. Brian. Next up, we've got Victor coming at us. Go ahead and get Brian's cards put in the box. I like to keep everything flowing here. If 
but like to make sure I'm nice and organized. So when it comes time to sleeve all the cards up, everything's nice and neat for me. Here we go. Next up, it's Victor at spot number 10. Let's see what we can find for you. 10 boxes. We're at the 40-minute mark, so about four or five minutes a box. That means if we do all 100 boxes, we'll be here about 400, 500 minutes. Which is, uh, how many hours is that? Probably like five or six hours. Let's see what we can find for Victor. We also have people taking sealed boxes, which is going to help out a lot as well. We haven't had any yet, but there's, um, there'll be a few here and there. All right, so we got Harmon Killer leading things off. Diamond How's It Going? There's Shohei Otani. Gray framed card. We got a gallery of stars for Nando Tatis. First hit, it's going to be Garrett Crochet, flamethrower, and it is an autograph. Nice card right there. Garrett Crochet autograph relic for Victor. There's Cronenworth as well. Hey, Diamond. Uh, welcome. Let's go ahead and try to find the second hit Juan Soto frame card. So your second hit's going to be a relic. I'm hoping it's a Hall of Famer for you, Victor. Weird color scheme on these boxes this year with all the orange. Not sure if I like the background colors. See those colors on the pack? Kind of a drab type color, but I don't know. All right, Victor, let's see who that second hit is going to be. Here it comes. I see it upside down. It is going to be a Braylon Marquez, which is not the biggest name out there. Braylon Marquez, dual relic. Shirt and Apostle Christian Pache is a sleepable name. I've got an upside down Nate Pearson card because it's framed. Nate says Aaron Rodgers just got traded. Football star right there. That's pretty interesting. Can't say I know too much about Aaron Rodgers. We've got Tariq Skubal out of 49. Shane Bieber. And that will do it for that box. Alec Baum is the last card. Do you believe says I have to pick up my daughter? Pull me something good in box 16. We'll try our best. That's coming up shortly. Probably six times, about, what, 30 minutes from now? So we will do our best. John is up next. Actually, it might be less because there might be a sealed box or two in between you and now. John is coming up. And then I know box number 12 is a sealed one, so I can see that. Here we go. Best of luck to you, John. Let's see what we've got in this bad boy. got Evan White on the back. Power heading prospect for the Mariners. Matt says, I've ever, have I ever been down to SC, South Carolina? Yeah, I love it. Love it there. Actually, I've been, been vacationing there for, uh, I don't know, on and off since know, a decade or more. Even more than that. We've got Joe Jackson. Not a lot of card shows that are card stores in South Carolina. There's a Brennan McKay. That's an autograph. Nice one right there, Brendan McKay. It is not numbered, but you get a quad relic of McKay. Pretty cool. There's Jazz Chisholm. And now we'll keep our eyes out for that game-used relic. There's Dylan Carlson, rookie card. Alec Baum, debut Diamond Kings. Spacer with the Ichiro. And Jared Oliva right there getting a card. Matt, yeah, I've been to Myrtle Beach. I don't even know how many times. So maybe like seven. Six, seven, something like that. Very, very nice beach for sure. 
We went down there last year, rented out an oceanfront um, condo and had a great vacation there. Really, really warm water there last summer. It's like 90 degree water, it felt like. All right, here we go, John. Let's see what we can do for you. Dustin's in the on-deck circle, but he's taking his sealed, so that'll move things along a little bit. There is a Jordan Alvarez. Very nice one right there. That is a low-numbered out of 25. You get some piece of the stitching there of, uh, I don't know, maybe around the neck. Nice Jordan Alvarez out of 25. I still am big on Jordan Alvarez. I think he's going to be a star for many years, even though he plays for the Astros. Nick Madrigal. Framed card. Is that Satchel Page card? I've seen that card a bunch of times now. Upside down Trevor Rogers rookie card. Joseph, how's it going? Good to see you tonight. Got a Bobby Dalbeck rookie card out of 49. It's the artist proof. Dalbeck and Dylan Carlson. Let's wrap this box up with the Kirill off. And um, last one there is going to be a Matt Chapman. Brendan, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Thanks for the kind words. So, John, thanks, man. We are now going to move on to the next one. Dustin decided to take his box sealed, which is an option. If you'd like your box sealed, I always, um, at least when I have, I usually offer the sealed option, especially when we have like a larger scale break. And I toss in an extra bonus pack, 2021 tops for anyone that does that. So, Dustin, thank you very much. Your box will be set aside for you. Send that to you sealed. Next up, we have Jamie at spot number 13. And then Kevin in the on-deck circle at number 14. Let's see what we've got in here. Madrigal again on the back. Brian says, how do you buy a box? If you're a Patreon member, you can... We're a little bit late in the game now, but typically I post it on Patreon and everybody signs up that wants a box. And I, when they sign up, I send them a PayPal invoice. I type up uh, you know, an invoice with the details there, price and fill in the details and stuff. But uh, once the break is live we got to switch things up. I'll still accept boxes uh, that I'll sell tonight, but you'll just have to pay me directly. There's an Andres Jimenez out of 99. 52 of 99. He was the player, one of the players, traded for Mr. Smooth, or Mr. Smile, I guess. Francisco Lindor is off to a rough start in New York, hitting 203. Let's see what else we can find. Mick says he missed some videos due to a ruptured appendix. That does not sound fun at all. Hope you're back to 100% now. There we go. Alec Baum. Dual relic. Nice one right there. It's out of 50. So nice Alec Baum right there. Chris says, I'm going to Walmart in the morning to get Bowman first. Retail in a long time. So have fun standing in line. You're probably going to have to get there like 6 a.m. Because some of those flippers... They get there that early. At least that's what people have been telling me. It's like Black Friday every Friday at Walmarts and Targets across the country. Friday seems to be a popular stock day. Chris says, we have rules at our Walmart, so I'll be able to hopefully pull some first Bowman. Very nice. All right, Jamie, let's check out this second pack and see what we can find. We got Ian Anderson there. There's Pete Rose, Tim Anderson, Christian Javier. Guess we'll flip these upside down. They're always going every which way, which is kind of annoying, but looks like they're all going one way now. There's Mount Castle Stevenson. And we'll wrap things up with Al Kaline for this box. So, Jamie, thank you very, very much. And uh, congratulations on the Alec Bum Relic. Probably the 
But, well, the Jimenez was pretty good as well. Kevin's coming up next. Let's see what we can find for you in spot number 14. Josh is in the on-deck circle. A second to put Jaime's cards away. Here we go, number 14. Twelve packs per box. Iowan says, is Panini worth buying? It all depends on what you like. If you like the uh, Panini products, then yeah. If you don't, don't like the lack of logos, then no. Blake's Army Pool says, everybody hit that like button. Everybody that has hit the like button. Thank you very much. I really appreciate the support. Tristan McKenzie. Amy says, what are your thoughts about Panini going to online-only sales next year? That's the first I've heard of it. And look at this. Ronald Acuna Jr., of the hottest player in baseball, seemingly, or one of the hottest. Nice Acuna. Dual relic right there for Kevin. So you're... I bet you your autograph's going to be pretty common because that's a pretty nice hit right there. Nice Ronald Acuna as the relic. There's a Joe DiMaggio gray frame. Here comes the hit. It's going to be a Shane McClanahan, and it's going to be out of 25, so that's pretty cool. 15 out of 25. McClanahan, not the biggest name. See, kind of told you so. It's out of 25, worth more than a dollar for sure. Yeah, Jesse Winker's been uh, playing out of his mind. How many home runs he have? Like six, seven? Probably hitting like 380. Backspack says McClanahan's a beast. I don't know too much about him. I guess I haven't seen him play that in uh, Tampa yet. A lot of people, I guess, Backspack saying there's a lot of hype on, around McClanahan, so that might not be too bad of a hit for you, Kevin. So you check out the other side of your stack. Upside down Alec Baum. It's a framed Diamond Kings card. That's kind of cool. Another upside down card. That's going to be a framed Kirillov, who I sleeve his cards as well. Got a Joe Adele. Another Joe Adele for Kevin. Artist Proof out of 99. Carl Erskine. Christian Pache. Thoughts on Christian Javier? He's throwing it an 087 earned run average right now. That's pretty impressive. I don't know if he's just hot on a streak or if he's the real deal. We will, I guess we'll have to see. There he is, Christian Javier. Key Brian Hayes. Dylan Carlson aficionado card. And that will do it for Kevin. So, Kevin, thank you very much. Joshua coming up next in spot number four. 15. Let's see what we can find for you. And then Raymond, which is Dreamer Believer, said he had to go pick his daughter up. I don't know if he's going to be back or not. He's in the on deck circle. I guess you can always hit the rewind button on these live streams. YouTube always keeps four hours of video footage when we're, we're live. You can go back and forth. I think it's called the DVR function or something like that. All right, so here's the packs. Let's get to ripping them and see what we can find for Joshua. Chloe says, hey, everyone. Great to see you. Thanks for joining us tonight, Chloe. Hope you're having a great Thursday. Dwayne says he got some 2021 tops without silver on them. That's probably just a misprint. I don't think there's extra value to those at all. Hey, there's Larry. How's it going, Larry? Hope you had a good birthday yesterday. A mess of things says, am I caught up? Well, if uh, you're hearing me say that, yes, you are. If it's in sync to when you type that. All righty, let's see what we've got. We've got Mickey Moniak for the second time tonight. It's his autograph. Mickey Moniak from the Phillies. Some interesting tattoos on the arm there for Mickey. Mount Castle. 
There's A Rod, Alex Rodriguez. And Javi Baez. Let's check out the other side there. You're going to have a relic coming up. The Epiphany Card Collector says, For you, Eric, to get you something for tomorrow as a pick me up. Thanks, man. Really appreciate the support, Epiphany Card Collector. Let's see, what do I have planned tomorrow? Hmm, I'm going to, for lunch, I'll, maybe I'll go and get one of those protein power bowls from Subway. I feel like I kind of missed that today. I didn't have it today. I think they're like six bucks or something like that. Ended up getting um, just um, the military provided us, or the recruiters that come to school provided us with uh, lunch today. So had some free lunch on them, barbecue beef, baked beans, and uh, basically a picnic lunch. Some nice macaroni and cheese and cornbread. Trevor's baseball cards in the house says, Eric, thanks for that amazing box. Gotta, gotta love that Alec Auto. Hayes, low number two. Wow, good luck. Thanks, Eric. Trevor, thank you very much, man. Glad we had that hit. I wish there wasn't that ding on the corner, but still a pretty nice one. So we go into the next half of this box. Looking for the relic. And here it is, I think. Larry Tavares. I don't know why, but Panini for some reason thinks Mickey Moniak is a good hit. It seems like, because both Moniac boxes have not had a great second hit either. There's a Kirillov, Andres Jimenez. Notorious Card says, Hey, Jeff, just want to say thank you for everything you do for the community and inspiring me to opening baseball cards on YouTube. That's awesome, man. Thank you very much for being here. Joe Adele, two Joe Adeles, back-to-back Adeles. That happened in, like, the second... First or second box. There's Dylan Carlson, aficionado card. And that will do it for Josh. So, Dreamer Believer, I don't know if you're back yet, but you're up. So, we'll give you, like, 15 seconds here as I sleeve up um, Joshua's cards. Darren says, Moniac's still only 22. It seems like he's so much older than that. Mickey Moniac. Been hearing about him for a long time. Mustache X says, how do you manage a job, this channel, and all your patrons at once? Also love the $51 tier. Can't wait till May. Mustache, thank you very much. Also, don't forget about the family. Lots of, uh, spending lots of time with the family and Heather. I just, um, basically, I, I don't have much free time to myself. And, um, you know, when I get a chance to do some packages, stuff like that, I seize that opportunity. Trying to keep up with stuff. I did a pretty good job last month. I got a lot of the packages out early. There's still a couple people that signed up in the second half of the month that I have to get their stuff sent out. Backs pack. It might actually be sitting on the sleeving table. You can send me an email and I'll check into it. If you haven't got it yet, that's probably what happened. All right, here we go with Raymond. A mess of things says because he hasn't hit his midlife crisis yet. All right, here we go, Raymond. Let's see what we can find for you. In spot number 16. Larry's coming up next in spot number 17. Hey, Quinn's house it going? Last box didn't have anything crazy going on in it. Dream Believer says, here for a moment, Hall of Fame auto, please. Let's see what we can do for you. We'll try our best. Hall of Fame auto would be nice, or maybe a relic. Let's see what we can find in here. So there's Bobby Dalbeck. So far, nothing crazy. There's Kirillov. Maybe this stack doesn't have a hit in it. Donald Blomdahl's in the house. Hey, man. He's got an unboxing emoji, emoji right there. Thank you very much for the support, Donald. Donald, by the way, is always live around 1 p.m. Eastern time, 10 a.m. Pacific. Every time I'm in my classroom, I get a notification on my phone. And I look down, and it's Donald Blomdale going live. Obviously, you can't really watch because I'm teaching class, but I hope you guys will check his channel out. Thank you very much, man, for the support and the super sticker. So, Raymond, you don't have any hits yet, so they better be coming in this stack. If he wants a Hall of Fame hit, let's see. He's got about five packs worth here. 
Let's see what we've got. So we're going to start things off on the hit ledger with maybe a Shane Bieber. And no, it's just a framed card. All right, Monte Harrison, rookie, relic auto. Monte Harrison, nice one right there. Not worth a ton of money. Let's see what that relic's going to be now. Hopefully it's in here. Do we have? Uh, it's probably that one right there. Let's see what it's going to be. Here it comes. It is Joe Joey Bart. Nice one right there. Joey Bart. Dual relic. So no Hall of Famer, unfortunately, in the box. Couple nice rookies. There's a nice Coward Pin Jr. Got a Hall of Fame numbered card out of 99 at least. And Alec Baum is the last one, which we'll sleeve up. So Raymond, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. All right, so next up we have Larry. He's at spot 17. Larry, if you, I don't know if I've let you know, know this yet, but I've tossed you in the Bowman break for tomorrow. So you'll be in the Bowman break as a thank you for donating all of those blaster boxes. Dream Believer says, oh, well, maybe in spot 62. Might be a little while. We're averaging about 15 boxes an hour. Here we go with spot number 17. A mess of things says, do you have any 2019 Inceptions? Thanks, man. I don't have any. Inceptions one product that I did not put any extra aside on my shelf. I'm, I don't have any of that. I wish I did. That is a nice one. Donald Blomo says, I'll always check in and support my mentor who got me started on my journey on YouTube. Thanks, man. Really appreciate that. All right, here we go for Larry. Let's see what we can find for you in this stack. All right, so we've got the big unit right there. Randy Johnson, Ryan Mountcastle, Diamond Kings card. There's Lou Brock framed. Gray frame. Here comes the hit. It's going to be a Jesus Sanchez. And it's going to be an autograph. Jesus Sanchez, Relic Auto. Quack says, first time joining the live stream. Been binging the channel for a few weeks now. Thanks, man. Thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate that. There's Key Brian Hayes. And that's going to do it, really, for that first stack. Let's find a good relic for you now, Larry, in this next one. Fingers crossed. All right, Larry, let's see. There's a Tristan McKenzie on the back. And a Bob Gibson on the front. Let's flip them over and see what we can find. Oh, we have a good one. It's an old timer here. It's Charlie Keller. I'm guessing he's not a Hall of Famer. I don't see the baseball Cooperstown Hall of Fame logo on the back, but he is definitely an old timer right there. Charlie Keller, game worn jersey or game worn bat card right there, game used bat for charlie keller nice one right there so that's our first old old timer for larry congratulations on that one so you'll have to go and look up his stats and see uh when the heck did he play and how was he as a player there's joe adele still sleeving him even though a lot of people have stopped i saw somebody's coming earlier saying they stopped sleeving adele tossed that aside and the pete rose card was sticking to that one there Space where there's Cronenworth. Brent says, approximately what time will the Bowman break be tomorrow? Probably around 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. There's Dylan Carlson. Tom Seaver as well. All right, so Larry, congrats on the Charlie Keller. Patrick's up next. Patrick Olson. And Patrick is taking his box sealed. So let me go ahead and grab that. And I think the number 20 is sealed as well. I gotta double check that. I filled out these cards today on my break, on my lunch break. So I think somebody, I think, uh, left a comment since say they wanted their box to be sent sealed, number 20, if I'm not mistaken. Better double check that. Yes, I remember correctly. Number 20 is going to be sealed box. All right, so here we go for Patrick O. 
Let's see what we can... F oh, whoops, your box was supposed to be sealed. Dang it. All right, well, uh, this is my box now, so... Uh, oops! I was so used to grabbing stuff open. Patrick, do you still want me to send that box to you or to give you a, another one? If you're in here, let me know. Otherwise, I just got a brand new box. We'll put your name on that one. So we'll keep the progression going here. Next box, Jack wants his opened up. Let's see what we can find for Jack in spot number 19. When Select coming out says Wild Dime. I'm not sure. I think it got pushed back. Maybe June. I'm not exactly sure. Suitcase just put an Austin Martin first Bowman auto out of 100. Fingers crossed. That's exactly what I was going to do if he doesn't, doesn't want the box. Is I'm going to be using Diamond Kings and Bowman to... Source the boxes this month. That is a Daniel Johnson out of 99 autograph. And let's see what the relic is going to be in here. Freddie Freeman. Brooke, how's it going? Thanks for joining us tonight. Casey Mize frame. And we got the downtown case hit. Juan Soto for Jack. Congratulations on that, Jack. Juan Soto, nice downtown. Case hit, so very, very nice one right there. From, I guess we're about into our second case. There's 12 boxes per case, so that makes sense. The rest of the thing says you can use different color paper next time. That would be a good idea to make sure I don't screw it up. Yeah, I can't uh, send a sealed box, especially if he wants to keep it so it goes up in value. Uh, I mean, a box with uh, the cellophane already ripped, not worth nearly as much as a completely sealed box. The mix is that's a $200 card, Jack. The downtown Juan Soto, really? So worth more than our hits tonight. Congratulations. All right, so here we go with the next stack here. There's a Dylan Carlson for Jack. We're looking for the relic right now for him. And let's see if we can find one. Shohei Otani frame card artist pal here it comes oh man it is gonna be a what a good box stand the man usual look at that game used jersey of the hall of famers you got a 200 dollar juan soto case hit which people are saying it's a 200 250 dollar card and now a stand usual game used jersey card that's the kind of stuff we like to see in diamond kings the old time Players, Hall of Famers. Stan the Man Usual is a Hall of Famer. Very, very nice card right there. Love that card. So Jack with a probably the best box of the night so far at spot number 19. Next up, we have spot number 20 from Jordan. He wanted this box sealed, even though it's not on the card. I remember he left a comment earlier this afternoon and said he wanted it sealed. So I'll grab the next box out of the case and put that aside for you. Thank you very much, Jordan. Spot number 21 is for Carol Ann. So we can see what we can find for you right now. Next sealed box will be at spot number 31. So I can shut my computer and save my battery life because my charger is in the other room. All right, here we go, Carol Ann. Spot number 21. Got a nice long run of opening packs now. All righty. Blake Army Pool says, let's get a big hit, guys. I hope so. Let's see what we can find. We got Brady Singer on the back. Uh, Andrew says, where can I get a look at the list? I showed the list earlier in the live stream. I just showed my computer stream. Uh, I showed my computer screen, I should say. And we've got a Ryan Jeffers. Iwan says, how does Patreon work? Does it charge at the beginning of each month? Yes, it does. So if, um, if you sign up right now, you'll get charged today 
and then you get charged again on the first. So if you're going to get like the three dollar tier, it might be best to wait until May first, unless you really want to get into the Bowman break. There's a Ryan Sandberg, Mount Castle as well. If you're getting packs and you sign up now, you'll get the April packs and then you'll get the May packs as well. First hit, it's Sam Huff, prospect card. Nice one right there, Sam Huff. Autograph, relic. Let's check out the next side, looking for just the relic. Joe Fortin is in the on-deck circle. We'll see what we can find for him very shortly. What time will the Bowman break be tomorrow? Probably around 8.30 to 9 p.m. Eastern time, somewhere in there. I would like to shoot for 8.30. It's probably going to take me a couple days to get caught up on sleep, so I'm going to try to get to bed as early as I can on over the next couple days. There's a Dylan Carlson. We've got a Dylan Carlson again. Ryan Mountcastle. McClanahan, we've got Joe Cronin right there, framed card. There's Jose Altuve, the art of hitting. Here comes the hit. It's going to be a Randy Rosarena again. The second time we've pulled his relic, and it's a piece of his game-worn jersey. So a nice one right there for Carol Ann. Cronenworth as well. And that will do it for that box. Kirilov will get sleeved up as well. Like that card a lot. All right, so Joe's coming up next. Let me go put these cards away. All right, Joe, good luck for you at spot number 22. We've got Thomas B in the on-deck circle coming up next. All right, let's see if we can find another big-time hit. Oldest card we found, probably Charlie Keller was the oldest. Stan Musial was a nice one as well. And Jesse says Joe's going to get a banger here, hit a banger. We'll see about that right now. Got a Brady Singer card on the back. There's McClanahan as well. Brian Hastes in there. And Cronenworth. NFL Edit says, am I going to watch the NFL Draft? Well, I don't have cable, and even if I did have cable, I wouldn't watch it. I'm not a fan of any sport except for baseball. I guess Trevor Lawrence is going to go number one. I've been hearing that name here and there. And picked up a couple boxes of Trevor Lawrence from Topps. They had a Topps exclusive, so I figured, eh, what the heck. Might as well grab them. So when I get those, I'll offer those up to Patreon members. We'll see if we can pull any of his autos. I guess he's like the next big thing. There's Key Brian Hayes. And we have a nice one. Hall of Famer right here. Phil Necro. Check it out. A quad relic of the one of the premier junk ball pitchers, Phil Necro. I'm surprised there's not like pine tar and glue and uh, who knows what else he used like maple syrup who who knows anything sticky if it was sticky then uh he had it somewhere on him probably some devices to cut the balls with some tacks and razor blades and who knows what else there's a nice uh video of Nico getting busted with sandpaper and I, he literally like throws the sandpaper on the ground and throws his hands up in the air trying to like get out of it was it the nail file? I thought it was sandpaper. I guess it was nail file. But yeah, he always had something to scuff the ball with, get a little extra movement. Fingers crossed as I feel so lucky and privileged to get to watch and learn from your wealth of baseball knowledge each and every day, Jabs. Thank you for all you do. You're the best. Thanks, man, for the kind words. I really appreciate that. All right, so since we got a Hall of Famer, the autograph is probably going to be absolutely um, poor or common. Let's see if uh, they prove me wrong. So David Peterson, Mount Castle. All right, let's see. Who is it going to be? Here it comes. It is going to be a Sam Huff. 
not the biggest name. It's out of 99, Sam Huff. To go along with the Hall of Fame one right there. Yeah, 100 boxes tonight. We're already on box 22, so we're making a big dent in it. It's about four minutes a box. Oh, we got a one of one. It's the black framed one of one Max Scherzer. So how about that one, Joe? You get a Hall of Famer, Phil Necro. And now you can see it right there, the one of one Max Scherzer, possible future Hall of Famer Max Scherzer if he keeps doing his thing over the next few years. Very, very nice one right there. Congratulations, Joe, on our first one of one of the night, the black framed Scherzer. Panini always writes out their one of one like that in cursive. Sometimes um, you might even miss it if you're not looking for it. But I saw the black frame and knew that was not supposed to be there. And a super chat from a mess of things says, was there a time when you decided you would post every day or did that pattern just grow organically? Do you know when the last day was with no video? Um, I can't remember when the last day was with no video. It was probably like, I don't know, a year and a half ago or something like that. Now that you, you think about it or now that you bring it up, I, I wouldn't say it's a Cal Ripken-esque streak because it's if I do have a streak, it's probably at like, 400 or 500 but um that's interesting and i'd have to go back to and and look because sometimes um i would only do one video and it would be a live stream and i'd start the live stream like eight and it might be like an eight hour live stream and it wouldn't end until like 2 a.m so it wouldn't technically be considered uploaded till the next day but since i started it i i, I have no idea i'd have to go back and look it's been uh, it's been a long time since i have not uploaded and uh, I typically use, usually try to get my stuff uploaded between like uh, 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. Sometimes if I've got family stuff going on I just and I don't have it already pre-filmed, then I'll just upload it like 10, 10.30. Sports Card Collector says, You went to the card store I work at. I wasn't working that day. Would have loved to have met you. Sports Card Collector, where do you work at? I'll try to figure out... Um, exactly where that was. Mark says when Jazz met Heather's channel exploded. She definitely uh, helped me get on track, that's for sure. Petrucas, oh, down in Florida. Yeah, that stinks that I missed you, man. Yeah, I don't know when I'll be back there because that's, that's a long ways away. But you never know. I do like the Fort Lauderdale area, and um, I live very close to an airport that flies to Fort Lauderdale for really cheap. I think I've paid like I don't know if um, Heather's around to to let us know what to let you guys know what I paid. Was it like forty dollars round trip for an airplane ticket per person or something like that? It's, it's crazy, forty to sixty bucks. I can't remember to fly down there to see you or to see your store. Check out a spring training game. And just get away for a weekend. There's Bobby Dalbeck. That's an autograph right there. Bobby Dalbeck out of 25. That's a nice one. He had a great spring training. Not so much uh, regular season right now. So his cards are starting to come down a little bit. Remember Kevin Newman set the all-time spring training record with like a 606 batting average? Well, he's hitting 190 right now. So people went crazy on Kevin Newman. Uh, his autographs went up by fivefold. Like, for example, his regular autos back in, like, um, I don't know, like January, February were selling for maybe, like, $3 a piece. And in spring training, people see him hitting 636 600 something They went up to, like, 15 to 20 bucks a piece. And now they're shooting right back down. People play the stock market of Kevin Newman, and uh, they are losing on that stock. He's, I don't know, we'll see... See what happens with him. He might not hold on to that shortstop position for too much longer. We've got Eric Gonzalez, and waiting in the wings is Nick Gonzalez. I don't know how many years away he is. Hopefully not that many. He's a nice collegiate player. We might see him in a year or two. All right, Thomas. Let's see what we can find on your other side of the stack here. Key Brian Hayes is at the back. We've got a Ryan Weathers, BP Baseball card says, um, cards are a lot like stocks. Yeah, they are. They will go up and down based off of a player's performance. A mess of things says, I'm about five weeks from 365 daily consecutives. That's pretty awesome, man. Yeah, that's a long stretch. 
at some point, you're going to have to, and I'm going to have to, if we keep both continue this streak of continuing uploading every day, we got to go and pull Cal Ripken and start start a um, consecutive upload streak and see how long it's been. There's Daniel Johnson out of 49. It's not going to take uh, as many years as it took Cal, though. He's I don't know when his streak started. Probably like 1983, 84, and he broke the record in 95. It's not going to take us 12 years, at least I don't think. Maybe about half as much because... Um, with Cal, he only could play 162 a year. We can do 365 a year, so we've got a, a huge advantage there. So, Thomas, thank you very much. Your box is in the books. Coming up next, it's Kyle. Let's see what we can find for you. Michael, then, would be in the on-deck circle. Go ahead and put Thomas's cards away. All right, Kyle, you're up. Let's see what we can do for you. There he is. He says, let's go. Indeed, let's go and see what we can find. How much are Diamond King boxes right now? I think most places have them for 140 to 150. Mine are 149. That includes everything. No extra add-on fees. It covers all the fees and shipping. All right, Kyle. If anybody else wants a box, we can add them on at the end. I've got a hundred boxes and they're not all sold out. Davey Garcia, nice pitcher. Golf Dude says, do you do this for a living or do you have a full-time job? Hi from Canada. Hey, I have a full-time job. Sometimes it feels like more than a full-time job because I have a super long commute. I've got a Christian Javier. So, um, yeah, spend about two and a half hours, two, two and a half hours in the car every day as well in addition to an eight-hour work day. That's why usually whenever we are live, it's at night. Dylan Carlson right there. And we have ourselves our first hit. It is going to be a Luis Campusano. It is a Relic Auto, and it's out of 25. So Luis Campusano is the hit for Kyle, which means we're going to have a Relic coming up. Yeah, Mick, but the good news is usually I can listen to uh, MLB Network Radio and keep up to date. Ryan says, would you like to? This is a full-time job. That would be cool. I, I probably would do things a little differently, though. I would do a lot of, uh, like, the baseball card hunts and stuff. I would probably be doing a lot of that during the day. Like, I'd be like, oh, I'm just going to run up to Harrisburg and go check out uh, Card Stadium or something like that today. A little harder to do that. Maybe in the summer I can get that going again. I used to do that a lot back in the day. All right, let's see what we've got coming up in our next box. Or next stack, I should say. I think we're due a relic, and um, that would be nice if it was a Ty Cobb, but it's not. Golf Dude says, congratulations. What you have been building is awesome, and I respect so much your dedication and time invested in this routine. You're the best. My girlfriend thinks I'm weird, though. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. I really appreciate that. Hopefully your girlfriend comes around. Radio says, I saw your Jumbo Infinity. Do you say you're doing a Throwback Thursday, too? That's a lot of videos. Yep, Throwback Thursday's already filmed and uploaded. I just, um, something came up, and I stopped doing what I was doing right before the break and uh, totally forgot about it. So it'll go up after this break. There's Jersey Kings. I'll tell you what. It's 2006 Fleer tradition, and um, it ended up, I was kind of getting a little down throughout the box because we weren't finding anything, uh, any hits, and there's some last pack magic, so a little preview to that. Hopefully you don't just fast forward now, probably shouldn't have said that. All right, next pack, or next box is going to... Spot number 25, Michael. Best of luck to you. Jason is in the on deck circle then. Let's see what we can do for you. Joe Adele's on the back. 
for some reason, panini packs are always a little harder to uh, open up than anything else. That's a really thick card, by the way. Jason says, what's the blast for May Patreon? It is still Heritage. I would like to have done Gypsy Queen. I have Gypsy Queen blasters ordered, but they delayed those, so I don't have any uh, Gypsy Queen that I can put in there, and it, I could either have opened uh, or put in Opening Day blasters or Heritage, and Heritage is just worth way more on the secondary market than Opening Day. If you guys want me to, I can maybe give you guys a choice. And if you don't want the uh, heritage, maybe we can come up with some other options there. Maybe maybe you do want an opening day blaster. I don't know. There's a Ryan Mount Castle. Yeah, heritage. I love the uh, 2021 heritage. It's a nice set. And speaking of Mount Castle, you have a Ryan Mount Castle dual relic auto right there, Michael. Out of 99, 46 of 99. A nice card right there. Congratulations on the Mountie. Ryan Mount Castle. Widely considered to be one of the top rookies in this class, despite having a, a rough start to his season. I'm hoping he can bounce back. And Mickey Moniak, left, right, and everywhere. It's out of 99. That's, I think that's our fourth Mickey Moniak tonight. So, Michael, you're unlikely to have anything else coming up. A mess of things says, make sure you edit that title and thumbnail or everyone's going to be start hounding you. What exactly? Did I make a mistake, a mess of things? Heather says, what time are you planning to leave your parents' house Saturday? Coach is asking if we can make a 4 p.m. game. Um, I was probably going to leave it like 3.40, somewhere in there. I mean, if you have to leave a little bit early, that's, that's fine. A mess of things it says, we won't FF. It's fun to watch you suffer. I am very confused now. Thank you very much. A mess of things for the super chat. Do I have a mistake in one of my titles? There's Joe Adele. I always, when I upload stuff, I just call it something really brief. Like when I uploaded Jumbo today, I literally called the video Jumbo, but I always keep them private. And then I go and I fix everything. And then I make it public so i'm wondering if you're, if i uploaded something with just the generic title there's a jake cronenworth you got an artist proof out of 49 ryan weathers casey mize Cronenworth, Ike's Art Studio is working on a Tatis. That's going to be a really nice one for sure. That one's going to sell quickly. All right, Michael. Thank you very much. Next up, Radius says, have we pulled any Mickey Mantles? Well, um, he's got a base card in here, so we pulled that one a few times, obviously, but nothing, nothing else. No hits or anything like that. No Sandy Koufax hits either tonight. At least so far, they said look for the Sandy Koufax. We've been looking for them. Haven't found them yet. We're on spot number 26 right now. This is for Jason. Let's see what we can do for you. Already sold. All right, man. Good job. I bet it looks awesome for sure. Got a really thick card right here. All right, let's see what we can find for you, Jason. All right, so we got Paul Goldschmidt. Here comes the hit. Nice Ken Griffey Jr., the club card right there. Griffey's on the front of the box in the opening. Throwback Thursday tonight. Evan White from the Mariners. Out of 25, 5 out of 25. And there will be a relic coming up at some point. There's Joe Adele, Ty Cobb. There's Kirillov. Vladimir Guerrero Sr. Andres Jimenez framed. Don says, if I'm a $3 Patreon, I could buy a box. Yeah, man. If you're a $3 Patreon, you can buy into any box. 
that you see that we posted. So yeah, you can do Diamond Kings. You can do Jumbos tomorrow, Bowman. If we post a, uh, a video that you want to sponsor, like a Throwback Thursday, and you're the first person to claim it, and leave the comment that you want it, then you can get that as well. We'll have the Jabs Family Boxes probably listed at some point tomorrow or tonight if I can get... Um, if, it depends on what time we end, I guess. Right now for the uh, for the boxes, the Jabs Family Boxes, it looks like I'm looking at doing a Bowman Jumbo pack, which is like a 50-something dollar pack, and then a pack of this, which is like a... $12 pack. So that's in there so far. And then I'm looking to add some more. I'd like to give you at least six, seven packs. We'll see what I can find. Probably a 2020 update pack will have to be in there. We'll put it together. So for those of you like the new stuff, we got you covered with the Jabs Family Box. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do more than 48 if more people can sign up. I think I limited the 48 last time because I think like only 52 people signed up the month before for it. Which meant I was left there with a bunch of like 80% uh, filled boxes. But I guess that's okay because whenever that happens, I just take those packs and eventually I use them in the random pack opening videos. Got another hit coming up. It is a Forrest Whitley. Forrest Whitley. It is a quad relic. Nice one right there. Forrest Whitley, former top prospect. There's Koufax. Haven't found a single one of his relics or autographs yet. So, Jason, thank you very much. You sent the picture of Tatis over to the email. Thank you very much, man. I really appreciate that. All right. Let's see what we can find. Now for our next contestant, which is Dylan, spot number 27. Anytime I see that number 27, I'm always hopeful that we're going to pull a trout. Let's see what we can find. Brooks Brake says, how much are the Bowman Jumbos? Uh, they're 630, 634, I think, for the entire box. Or you can do it by the pack, which is $59 per pack. Here we go, Dylan. Let's see what we can find for you. Radio says there is a video on YouTube showing Tatis cheating by looking down at the catcher's call. I saw that. That was uploaded by my buddy Fuzzy on his second channel. Got a whole bunch of views and caused a whole bunch of hubbub. So Fuzzy doing good things. Sometimes Fuzzy stops in here from time to time and says hello. Timmy T times in the house. Hey, man. Hope you're doing well also. Rainy day here in uh, Western PA. Hopefully the weekend's a little bit better. Some Ting says that, or some Tim says that Trout's batting average is 420. He's killing it. Can you imagine if Trout flirts with 400 this year for the season? That rookie card from 2011 update, forget about it. It's going to double in price. Those um, blaster boxes that are like three or four grand, those are going to be like six, seven grand. Everything's just going to just explode again. The never-ending uh, Mike Trout price um, escalation. There he is. There's Spencer Howard. That is the hit for Dylan, or at least one of the hits. It's an auto, dual relic auto. Yeah, lots of rain today. Wiped out softball. That's why we were able to start a little bit earlier. Hey, look at this. That is a nice relic. Mariana Rivera, Mo. That is a nice hit. The Sandman, the all-time leader in saves. And he is hands down the best relief pitcher of all time. There's no way you can refute that. If you look at his stats in the playoffs against the best teams of every year, his earned run average is crazy good. It's like one something. And he's got like 100 some innings pitched. That is an amazing card right there. Mariana Rivera for Dylan. Congratulations on that one. By the way, Rivera autos are so sweet. I wish we would have had an auto on that because he may have the nicest autograph of any current or former player that I've seen. It is a masterpiece of an autograph. We've pulled, usually when we pull Rivera autographs, it's something out of like diamond icons or something really high end like that. But every now and then you get lucky and find one in like a mid-level box like these. So you got your two hits, Dylan. We'll check out the rest of the box now. All right, let's see what we can find. We've got a Sixto Sanchez framed. Key Brian Hayes is in there. 
There's Greg Maddox. We tossed that space for side. So Lou Gehrig, nice gray framed. He was the last player to wear 42. Yeah, he got grandfathered in. When they retired 42 across the league for Jackie Robinson, they said any player currently wearing it could continue to wear it until they retire. So he went on to wear it for another, like, uh, I don't know, 12 to 15 years. Joe Adele's upside down. It's going to be a gray frame. Get that one sleeved up. And Tris Speaker is the last one. Richard, how's it going? This is day two of streaming. What's going on? Not too much. Just opening some... Diamond Kings, which is very, very nice. All right, so let's see what we're for Eric in spot number 28. And then Alejandro is coming up at spot number 29. Best of luck to you, Eric. BP Baseball crosses Game 7, 2001 World Series was a blown save that probably still lives with Rivera. Yeah, that was the uh, Diamondbacks World Series where Luis Gonzalez got sawed off on a cutter, hit a little floater that would have been caught by pretty much anybody except the Yankees had the infield way in to, to cut the run down at the plate, and that little tiny pop-up, which would have just been an out, fell in there, and um, if Jeter was back a little bit, the ball would have been caught. Who knows what would have happened? Maybe the Yankees would have won another World Series, and then they would have won. The Yankees won in 98, 99, 2000. That would have been their fourth World Series in a row, which is, uh, man, last time a team won four World Series in a row. I don't know if it's ever happened. That would have been nuts. It's, you don't really ever see teams winning three World Series in a row, let alone back-to-back -back World Series anymore. The Yankees were definitely a dynasty. There's Esteban Floreal. That's a nice one right there out of 99. Of course, the Yankees then would go on a little drought and wouldn't win, um, I guess, any World Series again until, what, 2009? And then none since, I don't think, right? So they do have a bunch of World Series championships, but not as much lately as um, their fans would like. There's a nice Hannes Wagner. We've got a Jose Barrios. Very nice one right there. Barrios quad relic. That is a nice one. How many did the A's win in the 70s? I don't know. There was like three really dominant teams in the 70s. You had the Athletics. You had the Big Red Machine uh, of the Reds, obviously. And then you had the Pirates. We are family. The Pirates won uh, two of those. And then it seems like the Reds and uh, Orioles had a great team in the 70s as well. There's actually, I guess, four really good teams of the 70s. Orioles were great. Pirates were great. A's were great. Reds were great. Ben says, do you sell packs on eBay? No, I sell everything through Patreon. Let me just open it here. Yeah, Yankees had some good teams in the 70s with Reggie. They were in the playoffs a couple times. Chris Chambliss with that home run. Mr. October got his name, I guess, around that time. All right, let's see what we can find. There's Kirilloff. Pirates won the World Series in, was it 72 and 79, I think? I know they won it in 79 for sure because I always think, man, I missed seeing their World Series by one year. They've never won a World Series in my lifetime. I was born the following year, 1980. Mickey Moniak, gray frame. There's Key Brian Hayes. Um, let's see. Joe Adele. And a Joe Adele for Eric. So, Eric, thank you very much. Moving on now to Alejandro. Let's see what we can find for you. BP Baseball Card says, we're old jabs. Yeah, once you get to your 40s, you start getting some aches and pains. You're like, really? I, I, I'm I sore from like, you know, I just, I was like, wow, that." That really stinks today. I, I was going up the steps. There's a big case of something at the bottom of the stairs that I moved down there. I don't know what it is. I haven't opened it up yet. It's, it's like the, the older wax, something from the 80s or 90s. And I had to like step around it and I felt like a twinge in my like back. I was like, great. All right, Alejandro, here's spot number 29. I'm fine though. Just typical aches and pain type deal. 
Mark Lyon says, I'm still waiting for another Reds championship. 1990, you were nine years old. Well, you had some opportunities there. 2010, right? You were in the playoffs. 20, were you in the playoffs in 2012 and 2013 as well, I think? Richard said, is Heather in the house? She is not with me currently. She's in her own house, and I'm in my own house. I don't know if she's watching with us still right now. All right, here we go. Yeah, Reds just uh, were always three and out, or wild card game and out with the playoffs in 2010, 12, and 13. In fact, they had a, uh, a no-hitter pitch against them by Roy Halladay in, in um, one of those series. It might have been 2012. We've got Christian Javier, who's been on fire. That's a dual relic. Very nice one right there. Donald Blomdahl says, I ordered a Heritage Base 1 to 400 when I got it. I was missing all the puzzles cards on the back. Uh, man, that stinks that they missed those. Good thing you double-checked. There's an Eddie Stanky out of 49. Chris says, I just want to see Trout in the World Series. Yeah, we need to get him there. I'm constantly rooting for the Angels to do well. Trout has only been in one playoff series in his entire career, and it was three and out. It was in the division series of 2015, and the Kansas City Royals knocked them right on out of the playoffs very, fairly quickly. So Trout's only played, he's been in the league a decade. He's played three playoff games. Hasn't even sniffed the uh, championship series or the World Series yet, which is just a travesty. Something says uh, Trout will sign with the Yankees or Mets soon. He's from Jersey. I I don't think that's possible. He's got a nice long-term deal, like a $430 million contract. He's going to be an angel for like the next, I don't know, what is it, like 12 years, something like that? The only way he's going to New York is if they decide to trade him. There's Key Brian Hayes. Got a Pavin Smith. We've got the George Brett um, Legends black background card. Pulled that one earlier. And we have a redemption. Let's check it out and see what it is. This is a redemption for a Diamond Kings material signature gold card of... Joe Adele. So congratulations, Alejandro, on the Joe Adele to go with the Christian Javier. That's a nice hit right there. Adele, despite being the minor, still has value to his cards. A lot of people still consider him to be a top rookie in this year's class. He's still young. Hopefully he can break through, figure it out. Timmy says Trout's contract is for 10 more years. He's not moving. There's Ian Anderson. Yeah, that's a nice long-term deal. Bad thing for Trout is he plays in California, so he's getting taxed like 50% of his earnings, which is crazy. Too bad he doesn't play in a state with no income tax like Florida. All right, Alejandro, thank you very much. Spot number 29 um, is in the books. And spot number 30... So up next, Josh says, Jabs is tossing those spacers aside like they're Altuve's. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, there's a big stack of those piling up. Here's Nick at spot number 30. Derek loves how you just whip that spacer. Yeah, got to get those out of the way. What do you think of Oscar or you know us since he seems to be very well compared to Otani? I don't know much about him. That's a question better suited for Austin F. All right, here we go. I got a big trash pile in here as well. It's a mess. I didn't clean up my Bowman trash from last night. I figured, what's the point? I'm just going to make another big mess. I'll just have all these empty boxes and packs and clean them up on Friday night after the break. Get them all out in the trash. All right, Nick, best of luck to you. Let's see what we can find. I see a Kirby Puckett on the back of that pack, and I see a Travis Blankenship on the back of this one. Jason says that Cueto chant is all I can think about from the 2000s Reds. Yeah, 2013 Reds, I was at that game. I heard that chant, and it, it literally was giving me chills. The It was just so... I can't even explain to you how loud the chant was. It literally hurt my ears it was so loud and i loved every second of it 
it rattled Cueto. He dropped the ball, and then he gave up the uh, home run to Russell Martin. And, the, man, just the uh, – I don't know how many decibels it was, but it had to have been equivalent to, like, maybe, like, a jet taking off if you were standing directly next to the engine. It was so loud that night. All right, Nick, let's see what we can find for you in your right-hand stack. Kevin says, what's my favorite baseball movie? Growing up, I always liked The Natural a lot with Robert Redford. I um, always liked um, Field of Dreams was, was another one that I liked a lot as well. Sometimes as a kid, I'd go out in the backyard and I'd pretend that I was Roy Hobbs hitting light towers and stuff like that. Timmy T-Time says the stadium was just as electric. Yeah, it was crazy how, man, there's tears streaming down people's faces at the national anthem just because 20 years of losing, finally we were in the playoffs. And uh, everybody in the stadium that night had chills. Our first playoff appearance since 1992 and first winning season. Those are some good years for Pirates baseball fans. We've got a Luis Garcia as the second hit. That's going to be a relic auto. He's a nice youngster right there, Luis Garcia. There he is again. And we got the spacer. That will do it for next box. Thank you very much. Timmy was in the rotunda. I had a seat, but I wasn't sitting there. I was sitting, uh, I was actually standing out in left center field, right behind section 141. For much of that game, in case there's a high fly ball, a home run, I was there to catch it in that area. All right, next up, spot number 31 is for Eric, and Eric has requested his box be sent sealed, so we will honor that one. After that, we have David at spot number 32. I'm just going to double check the computer and see when our next sealed box is coming up, because some... Some people requested sealed boxes a little bit later on in the day. So the next one is going to be 38. Let me make a note of this so I don't forget. I don't want to open someone's box that wants it sealed because there's some investors out there. Like myself, I'm doing the same thing, keeping sealed boxes. 38 sealed, 42, 44, 48, 51, 52, 59, 61, 65. We'll just go that far. Those ones are all sealed, so got that written down. All right, David, let's see what we can find for you right now at spot number 32. Best of luck. Eric says, what's the most memorable catcher toss-up that I ever got? Probably, honestly, my first ever game home run caught on the fly on June 30th, 2006. Section 136, row D, seat number four. Jose Bautista's 10th career home run. Sometimes I remember weird numbers like that. I just can remember everything about that day. I was actually had, I don't know if it was a walk or what, but I was listening to the, I was like Steve Bartman out there. I was listening to the game on the radio and I caught the home run on the fly, my big old first baseman's mitt. That was probably the most thrilling I ever got out of catching a baseball. Most thrill I ever got out of catching a baseball. But there's been lots of other great moments. There's Juke Lucas Giolito. I almost said Gukas Lito. I don't know what the heck was going on with that. Probably just a lack of sleep. We've got Monte Harrison framed, gray frame. And Evan White is the last one for David. Let's go to our next pack. Zach Campbell, yay or nay. Zach might put up his best ever season this year because with a lot of the stadiums at 25% capacity, he can run around and get 10 to 15 balls to 20 baseballs a night with little to no competition. So I expect him to have a great year. Some people love him. Some people hate him. But uh, in my experience, he's uh, always been pretty friendly towards me. All right, David, let's see what we can find for you in your... Next stack, we've got a William Contreras as your hit. It's an auto. Nice one right there, William Contreras. I think, are we still do a relic? Kind of lost track. Sometimes when I read the chats, I forget 
with so many boxes. There's Alec Baum. Jared Oliva. He's got some big time power. And there it is. It is a Ronald Acuna Jr. Dual relic out of 50. So a nice one right there. Congratulations, David, on the Acuna. Second time we've pulled an Acuna relic. Nice stuff. The top left corner has a, some whiteness in it, which is a big old frowny on that. But, David, thank you very much. Go ahead and get your cards sleeved up and sent off to you. And Frederick is up now at spot number 30. Three. We'll see what we can find for you in just one second. Here we go. Take these wrappers and throw them off onto the mountain next to me. Sean Ferguson is in the on deck circle. He's got two boxes. We'll do those both at once for him. All right, here we go. There's Alex Kirillov. Chris Bubik. Drew Rasmussen. And let's go ahead and start ripping through these. Chaos Red says big autograph is incoming. Let's see if you're right. We've got Cronenworth, Kirillov. And Ryan Mountcastle, it is a relic. So nice name right there, a Mountie relic. If that was an autograph, I would consider that to be a pretty big autograph. We already pulled one of his autos tonight. Let's see if we can pull a second one for Frederick. That'd be kind of crazy to get two Mountcastle hits in the same box. That's actually happened before where we've received two of the same auto out of a box. It's happened a couple times. I can't remember who it was. It was probably somebody like Kyle Wright or somebody like that. Chris says 31 more and I'm up. And the mantle is in spot 64. So that's probably about, um, I don't know, that's two hours away if we do all the boxes. But there will be some sealed between now and then. Probably about an hour, hour and a half away to spot 64. All right, Frederick, good luck. Let's see what we can do for you. There will be an auto. Is it a big-time auto? Somebody said that there would be a big-time auto. There's a nice Mount Castle plum frame. And Alec Baum, another nice frame. That is a gray frame. Christian Pache, debut Diamond Kings. And let's see who your autograph is going to be. It's going to be Bregman. So you have a... Signed lithograph out of 15, Alex Bregman, who most people dislike. This card's obviously taking a big hit after the whole Astros cheating scandal. But a Bregman for Frederick, I don't know if I'd consider that a big-time hit. Trevor Hoffman would have been a nice one. I'm guessing he has an autograph card in the set. And there's Alec Baum. All right, Frederick, thank you very much. Ignacio, if the picture's blurry, maybe try going to settings and changing it from 144p or 320p or whatever to maybe 720p. Sometimes YouTube will auto set your connection depending on if your connection's strong or weak whenever you start tuning in. Check that out, see if that does the trick. All right, Sean, you've got two boxes. I saw somebody ask, when does Bowman Retail come out? I'm not exactly sure. I would guess tomorrow. But um, sometimes it takes them a week or two to get caught up. You never know. I would, If you're really into Bowman, I would say maybe try to go out there tomorrow and see what you can find. All right, Sean, you got to-do boxes. We're doing both of them right now. Good luck to you. There's your first stack. We'll just do them both. And then here's your second stack. And we'll start with the left-hand side first and see what we can find. Turn these around. It's just a little easier for me to open them. Ryan Fogel's in the on-deck circle. Jack says, I saw Bowman 2021 in Walmart in Georgia today. All right, Jack. Hopefully you were able to grab some then. 
you say you saw it, but um, hope you bought it. Mark says, I just hit 720. It worked for him. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, YouTube will auto set you like 144p or something really low resolution style sometimes. It'll look a little bit fuzzy. There's Key Brian Hayes. And we have Christian Javier Plum. Um, Jason says, I have no affiliation, but the Columbus, Ohio sports card show is going on this week. And if you're looking to film anything, 130 tables. Wow. That would be pretty awesome for sure. I'm, I've got a really packed weekend of plans. Lots of family stuff going on this weekend. We've got a big birthday going on. We've got soccer games. We've got baseball games. We've got softball practice. So I don't think I'm going to be able to make it out to Columbus. I don't think there's any free days at all. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make it. But thanks for letting me know. If it was another weekend, that would be a, a distinct possibility. That's 19 out of 25. Anderson Tejeda. Zach McKinstry. All right, let's go ahead and flip this around and see what we can find to go with that Anderson Tejeda card. Troy says, you're a beast, Jabs. Haven't collected in decades, but truly enjoy watching your content. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Radio Infinity says, when is the national? I don't know the answer to that. I would suggest doing a Google search. I have not really put that on my radar yet. Usually it's sometime during the mid to late summer, so I haven't even thought about it yet. That's something I would probably start thinking about around like June. Usually the Nationals at the end of July, early August. But with every, you know everything changing, you never know. I did read an article today that New York City is going to try to reopen fully before July 1st, which would be nice. Maybe get Heather up to a Broadway show. There's a Christian Pache out of 99. That is a nice one right there. So, Sean, congratulations on the Pache. A beautiful-looking card right there. A piece of that, a piece of the jersey, and a numbered card out of 99. That is a good one. Now let's check out your other box and see if it can be just as good, if not better. And Radio's got it. Then 2021 Nationals in Chicago, Illinois, from July 28th through August 1st. I would like to go to it, that's for sure. We'll see. We shall see. Ryan says, I haven't collected since the home run race at 98 with uh, McGuire and Sosa. Prices are just bananas right now. Dig your channel, Jabs. Thanks, man. Appreciate you watching. Yeah, there's McGuire speaking of the home run races. Prices are crazy right now. Mickey Moniac. Oh, boy. It's another Mickey Moniac. Jack says, I bought two packs. There's a two-pack limit of Bowman. 19 card packs. 10 bucks. That's not too bad. I'm glad you were able to find some. KU says, Pacheco's been massively struggling at the plate. Um, that's not good for his prices. There's a McClanahan out of 25. A lot of the rookies from 2021 off to slow starts this year. Some are doing better than others. Mount Castle's a guy that's off to a super slow start. I'm still sleeving him, though. You know, I mean, it's been like, what, three almost a month. If he's still hitting 170-something come June 1st, that's time to think about uh, maybe seriously reconsidering sleeving his cards up. Lisa's in the house. Hey, how's it going? Go ahead and rip open these next packs from stack number 35, or box number 35. Alec Bombs on the back. Ike says they're still in a holding position for the Ju July to August schedule. Okay, hopefully... Um they, it's a go. I know that Dave Matthews band. I had tickets for June twenty, June twelfth in um, Burgettstown slash Pittsburgh, and they canceled it and rescheduled the whole tour. Basically, just pushed everything back a couple months. Christian Pache. I guess they figure 
by mid to late summer, everything will be opened up again and we can have normal lives. Which would be really, really nice. So they rescheduled the Dave Matthews concert for August 27th. There's an Alec Baum. Got Pee Wee Reese and Jared Oliva right there. All right, Sean, thank you very much. Congrats on the Pache Auto. And let's move on to Ryan's spot. He's got box number 36. Let's see what we can find for you. Patrick, Dave, Matthews is still alive and kicking, doing very, very well. All right, 36. Let's see what we've got. Fitzy says, is there a non-baseball card that you want? That's a good question. Not really. Like, I can't think. Obviously, like, if um, I found, like, a Montana rookie card or something like that or something like that, that would be cool. But I don't really collect anything but baseball cards. I definitely wouldn't be uh, buying any non-baseball cards ever, even if it was like a great player like a John Elway or something like that. I'm just not interested in any sports. Lisa says, beautiful cards. What blaster are we getting next month in Patreon? That's a common question we've been getting in the last couple days. And it was supposed to be Gypsy Queen for May. But unfortunately, uh, Gypsy Queen has been pushed back. So it's going to be another box of 2021 Heritage again coming up this month. It's either that or opening day, so I figured that uh, Heritage would be the better bet because opening day is kind of cheap, which most of you know. All right, there's A-Rod. Thanks, to Hoff. That would be pretty cool. I think that that would be a fun thing if they would ever do like a YouTuber set of uh, guys like Fuzzy and Dodger Films and Zach Campbell and Giraffe Neck Mark and uh, Shelfie and all those guys that make content. That would be a cool thing. There's Adonis Medina. There's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And Christian Pache is the last one. Let's go and do the next one. Rick Duquette coming up next. Mark says, get a Relic Auto jabs. If they ever did want to do a YouTube set and feature me, then we would be breaking it until we found my card. <laughs> that would probably, be, people would ask, what's the favorite card you ever pulled? It would, it would be um, that one. All right, let's see what we can find for Ryan right now. There's a Dylan Carlson. Another Dylan Carlson. And we've got Joey Bart. It is going to be his autograph. That's our, at least our second Joey Bart autograph. Probably our maybe fourth hit of Joey Bart. There's Mountie, Ryan Mountcastle. And a spacer. Yeah, that could be a 24-hour live stream. Breaking like 24 cases of... Alan and Ginter, Jake Cronenworth, Kirillov, Kirillov, Joey Bart Framed, and Yogi Berra for Ryan. So, Ryan, thank you very much. Henry says, anyone know to find these boxes? Yeah, these boxes are plentiful and easy to find on all the, the third-party sites that sell the boxes. They sold out on Panini's website. Panini had them for like $129.99, like $130, but... You can buy them at your local card store. You can buy them um, at, um, you know, Steel City Collectibles, places like that. All right, Ryan's in the books. Next up, we have spot number 37. This is for Rick. Fitzy says, if you could have an autograph from anybody, who would it be? That's a great question. Any baseball? If you're talking baseball player, then maybe, I don't know, maybe like uh, Babe Ruth would be a nice one. All right, here we go, Rick, in spot number 37. There he is. Rick says, wish me luck. Pick a hit for me, Jabs. We will do our best. Let's see what we can find. There's a K-line on the back. KU says, you happy the Bucks are playing well? Yeah, I'm happy they're playing well. Wasn't expecting that. 
I thought they were going to lose over 100 games, and they're making me look bad, I guess. All right, here we go, Rick. Let's see what we've got. In your box, there's a Kofax. Ryan Mountcastle. I've yet to find a Kofax memorabilia or autograph card, despite it being labeled on the box as a chase, but I guess it's, you know, that's why it's a, it's a chase. They're tough to find. We've got a case hit coming up, our third case hit of the night. We had a Madrigal, we had a Soto, and now we have a Machado. So, Rick, congratulations on the case hit. The case hits are roughly one in every 12 boxes. So, yeah, it's, what are we at? It's like, I guess, somewhere around our third case. So, Manny Machado, <coughs> congratulations on that. And we may have actually had a Another case hit or two in some of the sealed boxes that we did put aside. There's a Davey Garcia autograph. That's a nice one. Davey Garcia, after being initially sent down to start the year, is now back up, which is good. Let's see what else we can find in this box. Andrew says, I'm shocked after teaching all day and doing these several hours live break that you've never lost your voice. <laughs> That's a good point. I I don't know. I don't know how that's how that's possible. Maybe it's just um, building up the endurance from talking all the time. All right, here we go for Rick. Let's see what we can find. I will be getting a big glass of water after this break. I had a big glass of water before we started. There's a Joey Bart out of 49. Pee Wee Reese. Jason says, local wing place was out of wings, so it's a frozen pizza and jabs kind of nice. Well, that's all right with me. Thanks for being here. It doesn't sound all that bad, I guess. As long as the uh, you heat up the pizza first and don't eat it frozen, that would be kind of gross and depressing. We've got a Mike Trout. It is a Mike Trout double bat uh, relic right there. Man, if that was a autograph, that would have been something. But Davey Garcia took the auto spot. Very, very nice one right there. Love that one. Mike Trout, a great card for Rick. Congratulations on the double bat relic of Trout. One of the top 10 hits of the night for sure. Usually Trout relics like that will sell for... I don't know usually like 30 40 bucks i feel like and it's numbered out of 25 so that might help the price on that as well all right so rick thank you very much are kids in your class into cardboard collecting these days mark not really um today i gave away a couple packs of cards the kids turned down 2021 opening day somebody picked a 91 flare pack and somebody picked a 91 stadium club pack and uh, I, I, I didn't see them open up. I think they took them home for their dad or their brother or whatever. Played a little review game today in one of my classes. Deal or no deal style. Have you ever played deal or no deal? I have kind of took that game and adapted it and made it into a review game where ask the, uh, the test questions and have cases with prizes. Obviously, there's not monetary prize in there because I'm not going to give away a million dollars. At the top prize, but you know, some bonus points, some baseball cards, stuff like that. All right, AVM wants their box sent sealed, so we will do that for you. Thank you very much. And that takes us to 39. And Mary is up. Left Behind Times says, Thanks for helping my shift go by fast. God bless. Left Behind Times, thank you very much for the super chat. I really appreciate that, man. I hope you guys will check out Left Behind Times channel and give him some support. Thank you very much for supporting my channel. Hope you don't have too much longer on that shift. I would, I'm would. i trying to think what time we're going to finish up tonight. We're on spot 39 out of 79. So we're about halfway done. We're two hours in. So I'm going to guess 1130 as our end time. Somewhere in there. Hey, look at that. Left Behind Time says, I'm off at 1130. Wouldn't that be something if we take you the whole way to the end? I actually hit the nail directly on the head last night with Bowman Hobby. Heather asked me what time she thought I would be done. I said 1 a.m. And the last pack was opened literally directly at 1 a.m. on the dot. <clears throat> Which was, um, I didn't plan it that way. Because obviously, you know, I'd rather go to bed earlier than later. There's a William Contreras. Heather's got the link for Left Behind Times. If you'd like to check their channel out, you can just click on Heather's link. and It'll take you right on over there and you can hit that subscribe button and give them some support. 
Joe Wood, Gray Frame, and Nick Madrigal. All right, Mary, let's see what we can find for your relic. Ryan Knuckles, by the way, is in the on-deck circle. Radio Infinity says, we are six away from 200 likes. Thanks, guys, for hitting the like button. I really appreciate that. Helps the videos out, for sure. And uh, looks like we're at 199, so almost at 200. Thanks for this, the support, everybody. Let's see what we can find now. There's number 200. Looking for the relic, and there it is. Hall of Famer relic, Phil Necro. It's the quad relic of Phil Necro. Congratulations. The second time we've pulled the Necro relic. We'll take it. Anytime you get a Hall of Famer, that's good. There's a U Darvish plum frame. Key Brian Hayes. And that will do it for that stack. Got another little stack of cards there. We got an Adonis Medina. And at the end, we have ourselves a Grover Cleveland Alexander. All right, Mary, thank you very much. Congrats on the Hall of Famer Phil Necro quad relic. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get the next box going. It's box number 40. It's going to be for Ryan Knuckles. It's spot number 40. Gonna get a new 5,000 count box going. Yesterday for Bowman, we ended up breaking slightly over 10,000 cards. And it looks like we'll probably have about the same amount again tonight in Diamond King. That's a whole lot of sleeving. Hopefully have everything sleeved up, team bagged, top loaded um, within the next week. Here we go, Ryan. Spot number 40. I guess um, the next break we do is not gonna be too hard in terms of sleeving. It's uh, tier one with just a couple cards per box. Here we go. Lisa says, the first thing I do when I watch a video is I hit that like button. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate that. Troy says, do your thumbs ever get sore? Well, if they were going to be sore, they would be sore now. Not, not really. Sometimes they do. I, I remember the, the last break that gave me a lot of trouble was 2020 Heritage High Number. Near the end of that break, I was greatly struggling with those packs. And uh, it was, like, frustrating because I was putting a lot of effort into opening the packs. And they just were tough to get going. We've got Jazz Chisholm as the hit. It's an autograph out of 99. A good one right there. He's um, been looking really, really good this year. Hitting like 326, stealing eight bases so far. So that's a good rookie hit. And we have Forrest Whitley. Two hits right away. Quad relic of Forrest Whitley. That'll probably be pretty much hit-wise for your box. But we'll check out the rest of them just to make sure. Braden says, how many packs do you open a day? That's a great question. Well, if we do 100 boxes tonight times 12 packs, that's 1,200 packs tonight. Last night, I, I forget how many boxes we did. I'm just going to estimate, um, what do we have, 48 total. I think we opened like 48 boxes. We'll just say 50 boxes times 24 packs. That's, again, a whole lot of packs, over 1,000 packs again. Virginia Beach Collectibles says, not a fan of Panini Baseball, but always fun jabs. Thank you very much, Virginia Beach. I really appreciate the support. Hope you guys will check their channel out. I agree with you. I'm not a big fan of Panini Baseball products as opposed to Tops either. I like the uh, look of the cards, though. I don't think they're awful, but um, I'm, I definitely consider myself a Tops guy. There's a Shane McClanahan gray. And um, there's Mantle right there. He's got a card in this set. His rights expire, I guess, this year from Panini and will transfer over to Tops. There's Chisholm's rookie card. Kirillov is a nice one. And that was an awful toss. Didn't even get it off via camera. Kind of reminds me sometimes of, um, you know, trying to flick my gum into the garbage can and just totally missing... All right, Ryan, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Thank you very much. Spot number 41 is for Billy Wagner. Not that Billy Wagner. 
but a Billy Wagner who's been in our breaks from time to time. Let's see what we can find for you, Billy. Heather's got the link, by the way, to Virginia Beach Collectibles. I hope you'll check their channel out and give them some support. Spacer Frisbee. Yeah, that's just invented a new sport there, Radio Infinity. Spot number 41. Here we go. Jake Cronenworth is on the back, which is not too bad. Hopefully we can get a big time hit in one of these next few boxes. That pack was kind of tough to open up. What's the best hit of the night? I think the most valuable card of the night might have been the Juan Soto case hit. People said about, about 250 on that one. We've had some nice hits here and there, but um, I don't know. We had a one of one Max Scherzer as well. There's a Cronenworth. We got Andres Jimenez. Yeah, Mantle's triumphant re return to tops likely is going to be in 2022 Top Series 1. I was hoping it was going to be Series 2 this year, but it makes sense. Out of 99, Chris Bubik, autograph. Joe Adele, Diamond Kings card. Let's see what we can find for the Relic now for Billy. It's a Pee Wee Reese. We also have Throwback Thursday for you guys coming up on the channel tonight after the break ends. Probably like 10 minutes after the break ends, I will upload that. It's actually already uploaded. I just have to do the thumbnail and put the description in there. Artist Proof, Luis Garcia out of 49. Got Satchel Page. Radio says, please do another Guinness record pack opening video. That was fun to watch. Yeah, I think I could probably do better than 17 for the newer packs and 19 for the older packs. I don't know if anybody beat that. I did see somebody, it came up with my recommended, that was uh, trying to beat that record. Kind of a cool idea. And we have a Joe Adele as the relic. Nice one right there. Joe Adele. And that will conclude this box for Billy. So Billy, Joe Adele, probably the best hit there. Next up, we have spot number 42. This is for Eric. And Eric wants his box to be sent to him sealed. So there you go. Next one out of the case. Going to seal to you, Eric. Takes us now to Derek from Eric to Derek. Spot number 43. All right, Billy, let me put your stuff away. And then we'll get Derek's underway. What I think of Randy Rosarena, I think he's um, a solid player. I don't know if he's going to be a major superstar, but I think he's going to be a, a quality, quality player. <clears throat> we'll see. He's doing good this year. I don't know if he was just super hot for the month of October last year or not. Don says, what's the current Guinness World Record? I don't think it's actually a category. I just kind of started something up. I was like, what video should I do tonight? I was like, I wonder how many packs I can open in a minute. And I did that one. <laughs> Maybe I'll try to think of something else for a Guinness World Record. If you guys like those videos. Guinness card uh, World Record. I only did one of them, I guess. All right, let's see what we can find for Derek here. It's spot number 43. And when's the next stream after tomorrow's? That's a good question. Well, we've got the last stream tomorrow. There's Chisholm. Last stream tomorrow, Bowman Jumbo. And then the next last stream will probably be on Wednesday. It'll be Topps um, Tier 1, a higher-end set. There's a Tariq Scuba out of 25. Nice piece of his jersey, 19 out of 25. <clears throat> I think that they should really go all out. Top should with welcoming back Mickey Mantle next year. And um, it'd be cool if they had some cut autos of Mantle inserted and maybe like, um, I don't know how many 
152 mantles Tops has available to itself. But you know how they give away those golden tickets? What about if they give away golden redemption cards for actual 52 mantle cards? Wouldn't that be crazy? Like, I don't know. Could they come up with 10 mantle, 52 mantles? Obviously, they don't have to be like PSA 9s. But if they can come up with, um, you know, some nice original mantle that would be pretty awesome like an awesome chase thing like find the 52 mantle obviously they can't put the actual card in the pack because that would you know damage the card and the 52 cards were printed on a larger card stock so they wouldn't fit nicely in the packs so it would be a redemption but i think that would be an awesome golden ticket tops if you're listening in please do that all right so we've got a tanner hauk Plum frame. There's a Cunha. Dalton Jeffries out of 49. Diamond Kings card. Casey Mize. There's Daniel Johnson. Another spacer. Here comes the hit. It is going to be Buster Posey. Nice one right there. Buster Posey off to a good start this year. His game used jersey. So, Derek, congrats on the Scooball and the Buster Posey. Sam says, can you imagine the price of Top Series 1 to 52 man was a chase card? Well, it would be fun. But, yeah, that would probably drive the price up um, a bit for sure. That's what Tops would want. That would be fun to go after for sure. You'd still be able to get your blasters and your packs at Walmart and Target with their one per person limit. I mean, if you want to stand in line, you'll still be able to get them. Mark is coming up next. Spot number 44. He wants his box sent sealed, so we will definitely send that to you sealed. Take you up on that. Here's 45. This is for Zachary. Let's see what we can find for you in spot 45. Joseph Hoffman says, Diamond King empty boxes are great for storing top-loaded minis. Any jumbos available tomorrow? That's a good tip right there. You can store your top-loaded minis in there. See that uh, nice little space? And yes, we have plenty of jumbos available for tomorrow. We've got full boxes and also individual packs. If you'd like to get in on that, put in a request on Patreon. I'll probably post the uh, updated breaker list sometime tomorrow and do basically like a kind of like a last call for the jumbos. Sonny says, are the corners looking okay? We had a couple rough corners, maybe like three rough corners that I've noticed so far. Here we go. Let's see what we've got. There's Key Brian Hayes hit right off the bat. Larry Tavares is going to be the autograph. Looks like he drew uh, like a uppercase cursive Y with the number seven in it. Let's see what else we've got. There's Kirillov sleeving him up. So we'll see if we can find a nice relic. And here comes something. It's a Nate Pearson is going to be the relic. It's a dual relic as the second hit. That might be it for the box. Check out the other side there. There's a Mount Castle for Zachary. Larry Tavares and Nate Pearson. Not the greatest box that we've had, for sure. Let's check out the other side there. You never know. Maybe we'll find a one of one or a uh, case hit downtown in this side. There's a Cronenworth in there. Poke Craving said I opened a hot heritage blaster. Every pack had a purple hollow. Yeah, that's those are pretty awesome when you come across those hot boxes. Always like finding those. Got a Will Crow framed card. Mike Trout gallery card. There's a Shoeless Joe Jackson. Isaac Paredes. Key Brian Hayes for Zachary. There's the Cronenworth that we saw at the back of one of those packs. Dylan Carlson. Joe Adele. And that's probably going to be about it. There's another Joe Adele. So, Zachary, thank you very much. Derek's in the on-deck circle. 
And Derek, you have a star next to your name, so that means there is an issue with something. I don't know if I have to change your address or what, but I'll just search up your name before I ship your cards in my email and see exactly what it was so I remember. Thank you very much, Derek. And let's get your box started up here at spot number 47. Or 46. No, it was 47. So we have crossed the 10 p.m. Eastern time barrier. What's the best hit of the night? The most valuable card was the uh, Juan Soto case hit. And just, just sign up for two jumbo packs. I'll get you that invoice at some point, probably tomorrow. Thank you very much. All right, here we go. Let's see who the hits are going to be out of this box. We've got a framed Garrett Crochet in here. We've got the case hit coming up. It's going to be, it's Joe Adele as the case hit. So Derek, congratulations. You may have a $100 card right there. Case hit Joe Adele. That's the fourth case hit that we've pulled so far tonight. And then we may have had a couple more in the sealed boxes. So very nice one right there. And we also have a Raphael Marchand from the Philadelphia Phillies, who I'm like, who's that? It's out of 25, so we'll put that in the sleeve pile along with the case hit. Virginia Beat says, Jabs, they lined up outside target 4 a.m. on Fridays around there. That's really, really dumb. That's just not working out, that system. 4 a.m., like, you still can't get cards because they're still ruining the system. Like, I feel like that's a good idea. Have them behind customer service and limit it per person, but if they're if all the flippers are gonna laugh at 4 a.m. Um, they're not all flippers, some of those guys are just hardcore collectors too, but it just stinks that it's so hard to get cards. Alright, I think I would rather just pay a couple extra bucks on eBay and hopefully they're not jacked up too much. You don't really have much choice though with basketball. I guess basketball can basketball and football can be like three or four times what retail prices are. Baseball's not as bad. Got a Sandy Koufax in here. There comes a hit. It's going to be a Randy Johnson, the big unit. That's a nice one right there. Out of 25, three out of 25, Randy Johnson. And that is from the Houston Astros. He spent like a half year with the Houston Astros, so kind of cool that you get to see him in his Astros uniform. Johnson bounced around a, uh, a bit. You might remember him mostly for his time with the Mariners, but you got to remember he played for the Expos, the Mariners, the Astros, the Diamondbacks, the Yankees, the Giants. Am I missing anybody else? I don't think so. Jack Townsend, hey, man. Says, hey, Eric, any huge hits yet? Um, we've had a couple nice case hits. Nothing worth just crazy amounts of money. So thank you very much, Jack. I really appreciate that. We have had some nice autos and stuff like that, some top rookie autos. But I uh, had a one-of-one of, one of Max Scherzer as well. Virginia Beach says, Jack the Crazy Man's in the house. Hey, I think of Jack pretty much every time I go to uh, softball practice because, <laughs> I don't know if you know this, I, uh, you probably don't know this, but there's a pavilion called the Jack Townsend Pavilion. Every time I'm looking at it, I'm like, how is that possible? Because I, I know you're not from around here, but that's pretty funny. But there's a pavilion named after you in my town. I saw that the other day. It's like, holy crap. That's kind of cool. Noel's up right now at spot number 47. Let's see what we can find for Noel. Jack, thank you very much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I think it's the Jack B. Townsend pavilion. So I don't know if your middle name starts with a B or not, but every time I see that, I'm like, hey, I wonder how Jack's doing. All right, so here we go. We've got Noel at spot number 47. And then Tim at spot number 48. All right, so it's not you, but still kind of uh, funny, though, for sure. It's not like that's a super common name, like Robert Smith or something like that. 
No offense to if we have any Robert Smiths watching right now. All right, we've got leading things off at Jake Cronenworth, and that's his autograph. One of the top rookies, Jake Cronenworth, dual relic auto. That is a nice one right there. Rookie of the year favorite, had a great 2020. Like that card a lot for Noel. Key Brian Hayes and Joe Adele as well. <clears throat> got a Pete Rose in here. There's another Cronenworth. Another Cronenworth, Diamond Kings. Let's check out the other side of your stack here and see what you've got going on. Mel Ott. Bax Pack says Dylan Carlson would like a word. Hey, maybe we'll find a Dylan Carlson. We haven't found any of his autos or relics yet. So we'll keep an eye out for him. Let's see what we can do. All right, here we go with the second side here. What's going to go along with the Cronenworth? 157 OPS Plus. That's really, really good. 100 is league average. There's a Yogi Berra, Joe Adele. And it's a Braylon Marquez is going to be your relic. Nothing crazy there. Byron says, funny thing is you can still hit target at 8.30 a.m. Still get plenty of packs and rack packs and blasters. Yeah, that's the thing. Those people line up at 4 a.m. They're there for the basketball and football. So they're grabbing up the uh, prism and optic football, basketball, whatever. Whatever the super hot thing is that they can sell for like five to six times retail. And they're going to leave behind the stuff like that. They're not going to pick up Diamond Kings blasters because, you know, Diamond Kings for sells for 20. It's probably on eBay. It's going to be going for like 30 to 35. That's usually what the new stuff goes for. So, Noel, thank you very much. But if they buy a blaster of, like, basketball, they can sell that for, like, 100 bucks or more. All right, so spot number 48 is for Tim. And Tim has said that um, he wants it sent sealed. I also put a little note on there for when I do send it to make sure I have your right address. Because I think you said you moved, so I'll do a little more looking into that. So there's your box. Thank you very much, Tim. Spot number 49 now is for Joe. Let's see what we can find for you in 49. And then Kurt is in the on-deck circle. Why can't I get this opened up? There we go. Joe says, let's blaze up my box. All right, Joe, let's see if we can make this a nice, good box for you. Any Depinos yet, says Benji. No. Hey, maybe they can get some Depino autos under fan favorites. In archives this year. You know, they always do the players that weren't super, you know, like major stars, but, you know, people still like them. Jeffrey says, I was checking sales of 84 Donruss PSA Manningly rookie cards on eBay today. They're selling between four and six grand. That is crazy for sure. And Jack, I didn't get any first off the line for this. First off the line is usually a little more expensive. I just decided to wait for the, the, uh, the real stuff to come out. There's a Pache. We've got a Pablo Sandoval, the Kung Fu Panda quad relic right there. Pablo Sandoval still around. Dylan Carlson. And that'll be pretty much it in that stack. There's an Alec Baum right there for Joe. Let's check out the next stack. Jamie says, I got a new Alan Ginter card today. That's awesome. Which one was it? Some people really love Alan Ginter. Some people do not. Buster Posey, nice. Let's suppose he's having a good start to his year. Rady says, if you could play in the majors, what would you want to play for your home team or for a bigger team? Um, I'd probably like to uh, be home just because that's where the family is. I'd rather be close to them playing in Pittsburgh. That's never going to happen, though, unless I develop my knuckleball really well and... Have like a Tim Wakefield-esque resurgence. 
Hey, I was just talking about Dylan Carlson, and look who it is. Dylan Carlson has arrived. Literally just talked about him before this box. I was talking about uh, Jake Cronenworth. And somebody said, Dylan Carlson would like to have a word. And look who comes out of the next box. He indeed wanted to have a word. He heard you, Bax Pack. And there he is. Dylan Carlson autographed. Nice dual relic. <laughs> That's pretty crazy stuff right there. It took 49 boxes to find a Carlson autograph. And he came out right when we were talking about him. That's some crazy stuff right there. There's Mount Castle framed card. So, Joe, congratulations. Good box right there. Nice jazz chisholm as well. Jeff says, very nice Carlson right there. Congrats, man. Next up, spot number 50, we have Kurt. Let's see what we can find for you, Kurt. We'll just go ahead and put Joe's cards in the 5,000 count box. All right, here's the next, next box up. All right, here we go. John says, what do you think caused the disparity in value between baseball cards and football, basketball? I don't know. I don't know if it's – I have no idea. I wish I could tell you. It's clearly basketball one, football two, baseball three, hockey four in terms of value for cards. I guess the uh, the allure of like the Joe Burrow and the Zion Williamson and the top rookies is just – maybe we just don't have a, a major phenom right now to hunt in baseball. Maybe when Wander Franco comes up, that's going to help things out a little bit. Everyone's searching for his rookie cards. We'll see. Might have some Wander Mania in, in the baseball world. That'd be nice. All right, here we go, Kurt. Let's see what we can do for you. Nice thick card right there. Probable Relic. Dominguez is another one that could be a big-time draw. There's Ryan Weathers, autograph. Nice one right there. Numbered out of 99. 99 out of 99, Ryan Weathers. Got our spacer, a whole collection of spacers today. And Kyle Tucker. So both of your hits really early in the box. Kyle Tucker is out of 50, 6 of 50. Dual relic. Timmy T Time says less cards in football and basketball sets, less printed than baseball. That definitely will have an impact. The old supply and demand. I get if imagine if they printed like half as many baseball cards, you'd be paying a lot more for the. Uh, they'd be twice as hard to find. You'd be paying twice as much. I guess that makes sense. Panini's. I guess they know what they're doing because they're, there's definitely a ton of hype around basketball cards right now. There's a Carlson right there. Patrick says, how many spots tonight? We're at 79 spots before the break. I'm going, I'll go in and see once we get to spot 79 if anybody else paid their invoices and we'll do those and then if you guys want to take some sealed boxes and grab those i'll send them off to you sealed with a bonus pack i'll probably not want to break too much more because it is getting late and i only got like three and a half hours of sleep last night i feel like so i'm gonna get, start to get caught up on my sleep over the next couple days it's another work night here there's alec Baum. Ichiro and Jared Oliva for Kurt. So, Kurt, thank you very much. Next, we have Jeff. He wants his sealed. So, there it is. Next box. You got it. Thank you very much. And spot number 52 is for Paul. He wants his sealed as well. So that will help us make a little bit of progress towards that spot 79 with a couple sealed boxes taken off the board. And now it takes us to spot number 53 and 54. This is for Jeremy. He's got two boxes. So let's go ahead and rip these open and see what we can find for him. I'll get both of them opened up on the screen at once. There's box number one. 
Here's box number two. All right, there's all your packs. Let's just go ahead and start with these. Do the first box first for Jeremy. Robert says, you saw more rested tonight. I don't I don't know how that's possible. But um, I guess so. Maybe because we've only been, uh, what are we at here? 160 minutes of live streaming. So we're not quite at the three hour yet, Mark. Maybe that's when I start to run out of gas, but we'll see. All right, we've got Joe Adele, then another Joe Adele. Jay Papa said, I would love to see a Babe Ruth pulled tonight. How about another Dylan Carlson? He's like, wait a minute. If you're going to, you know, just not give me any attention. I'm just going to come out every box. Dylan Carlson again. It's spot number 53. A nice hit right there. Congratulations on that one. So Bax Pack is probably like, what the heck is going on now? How many Dylan Carlson autos are going to be coming out? I've got an artist proof card of Jimenez out of 49. Someone just said, holy moly, don't pull them all so I can get another one. Byron says, you should insure your hands. A nice Dylan Carlson and maybe we'll have some more of him tonight. We'll see. It's, it's a different case than the previous ones. It's the Dylan Carlson case. All right, here we go with the second half of Jeremy's first box. Then we've got Robert after that. And Backspack says, yeah, big cards fan here. Save some for me. Hopefully there's enough to go around. There's at least 99 of that card. We've got two of them already. Shom says that Cedric Mullins has been on a tear. Yeah, he's he's killing it. Maybe, I don't know what's motivating him. Maybe he went back and watched one of our 2019 breaks with everybody getting all angry about all the Mullins autographs and said, you know what, i got to step my game up. There's a Michael Conforto quad relic, a nice one right there. Conforto to go along with the Dylan Carlson. We'll check out the rest of these. We've got a Joe DiMaggio framed plum frame card. There's Cronenworth. Spacer. Jeff says, did you see Bonds play often in person when you played for the Pirates? That's a good question. I'll answer that in a second. Scenic City Picker says, nice hit, Jabs. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that, man. Scenic City Picker with the Super Chat. That must be Jeremy. Congratulations on the Carlson. All right, so Barry Bonds, when he was in Pittsburgh, he only played in Pittsburgh until 1992. That was his last season in Pittsburgh, and then he signed a, a big contract with the Giants in the offseason, and that was it. In 19, summer of 92, I was 11 years old, so I wasn't going to many games. I did see him play in person a few times. I would maybe go to, I don't know, one to two games a year, and I feel like... Most of the times when I did go to a game, it's because we won the tickets at our dentist's office, which um, was in Murraysville. I think it's – I haven't been to the dentist in so long. I, I think he may no longer be in practice. I need to get to the dentist. I should probably ask Heather to uh, get me uh, linked up with her dentist. But anyway, we used to be able to put our name in this box, and it seemed like we won it multiple times. Like I guess the dentist had like – season tickets and once a month he would give away a game and i don't know how many times we won those might have been like three times but yeah bonds was awesome used to love watching him that's a nice george brett insert card what's with all the george brett insert cards that's the first time i've seen that type of insert design and christian pache autograph how about that one jeremy very very nice one very nice. And yes, that would have been the Bonds, Bonilla, Van Slyke years. Bonilla left a year earlier. He went to the Mets after the 91 season. And uh, man, I, that was that stung. That really hurt. Good old Bobby Bow. Used to love Bobby Bow. Switch hitting power hitter, third baseman slash right fielder. There's Joe Adele and a Joe Adele. And a Joe Adele. I saw Virginia Beach said we should all stop sleeving our Joe Adele's. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it a little longer since he is such a highly touted prospect. If, if I look at the minor league stats at the end of Maine, he's hitting like 150 down there. I'm going to be like, all right. 
You're getting the Aquino treatment now. Aristides Aquino, his rookie cards, if I pull them out of anything 2020, I just, you know, I don't even sleeve them up. All right, Jeremy, here's your last stack. Let's see what we can find for you. We got ourselves a Ronald Acuna Jr. framed mini. Upside down Acuna got me a little bit excited, but not going to be an autograph. We got a Garrett Braxton. That's going to be out of 99, dual relic. Nice Ken Griffey Jr. right there from the club. Who's this? That is Trey Turner. Mickey Mantle framed card. Nice looking one right there. And we'll finish off Jeremy's box with a Dylan Carlson. Backspack says, with how loaded the rookie class is this year, I've decided to sleeve up the vast majority. Yeah, there's a lot of good rookies. There's some guys that were kind of like around the like 10 to 15 spot, like Ian Anderson, Christian Javier would have probably not even been beginning of the year. Ian Anderson might have been like 10th, 9th or 10th. But um, if you were sleeping all of your rookies, that's a good job because some of those guys definitely moving up the charts. Bobby Dalbeck is another guy that was – I had him at like probably like 8 or 9. And uh, spring training, he moved up the whole way to 2 for me. And now he's, he's falling back down because he hasn't been doing that well. But it's kind of interesting how some of these rookies go kind of uh, under the radar. And then once the games start, you're like, wow, this guy might be pretty good. All right, we've got a two-boxer here. This is for Robert. He's got two. Akil Badu. It's, yeah, he's been going off. Good luck to you, Robert, at 55 and 56. Let's see what we can find for you in your two boxes. Byron says, how did Mano get a picture for Tops? Yeah, that's right. Tops did make a card for him. I have no idea. That's a great question. Andrew says, love the content. Jabs, your commentary is what really makes it. Thank you very much, Andrew. Really appreciate you tuning in tonight. And Wuzuak says, have I pulled any downtown cards yet? We've pulled maybe four or five of them. Yeah, we found quite a few. They're case hits. They're roughly one in every 12 boxes. There may have been a couple more that we didn't get to because they were, you know, would have been in the sealed boxes that some people requested we put aside for them. All right, Robert's first box is going to have one of those downtown cards in it. There it is. It's a Joey Bart. That's a case hit. Congratulations on that one. CMX says, isn't it a school night? It is indeed a school night, and uh, that's why I'm not going to want to go too much later on than 1130. There's a Davy Garcia. So if anybody else wants a box, it will be sent to you sealed if you'd like, like to uh, grab it sealed. You can open them on your own time, I guess. Or just keep it sealed on the shelf. Backpack says, wow, the downtown Joey Bart is already up to $100 on eBay with six days left. So, Robert, you might have yourself at least a $100 card there. Who knows? Maybe it fetches $200 when it's all said and done or more. Those downtown case hits, people definitely like those. Some of these collectors that have the big bank rolls could afford to maybe put the whole downtown set together, and they're going to go after them. There's a Curry Puckett out of 49. There's a Mount Castle. And Aaron Judge framed Christian Pache. Dylan Carlson. And there's a card on the back of that. Anthony Rendon lands in my spacer pile. Anthony Rizzo coming up. Anthony Rizzo striking out Freddie Freeman the other night. It's his game used bat. There's a Riz hit for Robert. And uh, Alec Baum. So, Robert, thank you very much. That's your first box. You've got a second one, though. Let me go ahead and put some of these cards in the 5,000 count box. I don't want the stacks to get too big. Don't want them falling over. Jeff says Gavin Lux is nearing the Aquino status also. Three hits and 34 at bats. And he's hitting 189 this year. Gavin Lux. I actually stopped sleeping up Gavin Lux. But then he started out the 2021 season okay after the first week or so. And I guess he's back down again. So I remember the Pirates were really trying to get uh, Gavin Lux here, trying to trade their former closer. 
uh, Felipe Vasquez for Gavin Lux, and the Dodgers would not give up Lux. So then the Pirates ended up keeping their closer, and he ended up being a, uh, man, just a terrible person. If you don't know the story about uh, that, you don't want to know. That guy, um, Felipe Vasquez, will never throw another pitch in baseball. And hopefully he spends the rest of his life behind bars. All right, Robert, let's see what we can find for you in your spot. All right, so we've got... A, what is with this Dylan Carlson brigade? It is another Dylan Carlson autograph. Three out of the last four boxes. Dylan Carlson's pen looks like it's starting to run out there a little bit from signing so much. The back back screaming, no. We didn't have a, a Carlson for 49 boxes. And then all of a sudden, Backpack's like, Dylan Carlson would like to have a word because I said something about like uh, Jake Cronenworth being a nice contender for the uh, Rookie of the Year. And then, boom, it's Carlson after Carlson after Carlson. Three out of the last like four boxes that we've opened have had Carlson as the hit. So how about that? Robert, congratulations on that one. Wouldn't that be crazy if we pull another one in the next box? It's the Carlson case. That case, people always joke around, was supposed to be sent to Dylan Carlson's parents. And instead, it got mixed up and it's in my hands now. All right, here we go. Next stack. P. Wirt is in the on-deck circle. I know he's probably hoping for a Carlson as well. All right, Robert, let's see if we can get you. I don't know. I lost track since you have four boxes. Lost track if you still have a relic coming to you. You probably have a relic coming to you from this side of the box. Let's find out right about now. All right, so we've got ourselves a Shirt and Apostle framed card. There's a spacer. There's a Carlson base card, which we'll sleeve up. And the relic, it's going to be a Nick Niedert. Nothing crazy there. Lou Gehrig, plum frame card. And that's going to probably be about it for the box. Congratulations on the Carlson. Trevor Bauer's last card there. That takes us now to Pete's box number 57 as we, you know, work our way towards spot number 79. All right, P. Wirt, here we go. Let's see what we can find for you. Nick is in the on-deck circle. Cubs fan 12, how's it going? Virginia Beach said he'd rather have a Carlson over Joey Bart any day. Eh, probably most people probably would agree with you. Carlson's been proving himself more than Bart has. All right, here we go. Best of luck to you, P. Wirt. Boofa Sports Card says, what's up, Jabs? Four subscribers away from 100. Can we please help out Boofa Sports Cards, a.k.a. Damien, get to the 100 mark right now? That'd be pretty awesome. I hope you guys will get on over there and see who can be number 100. I don't know if Heather's still awake or not to drop the link. Let's see what we can find for p -Wirt. We got a Shohei Otani. There's a Goldie. Key Brian Hayes. Joe Adele. All right, where's your hits? Here comes one, I think. I see it upside down. It is going to be a Luis Campusano. Heather is still awake. She's got the link for Bufus. Now you can see who can be his 100th subscriber. He only needs four of them. We should be able to do that one. Drewski says, what's been the big, biggest hit of the night? We've pulled a lot of downtowns. Those are usually worth between $100 and $200. Lots of nice rookie autos tonight. Had a one-of-one one Max Scherzer. 
And Jeff has Boofus as well for you guys. Heather says that Boofus is on 99, one away for 100. Who wants to get him there? Um, let's see what we've got looking for the relic. It's coming up there. I can see it. It's right there. And it is going to be Christian Pache. Nice one right there. And Heather says, Boofus, you've hit 100. Congratulations on that. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. And thank you guys for helping his channel out as well. All right, P. Wirt, thank you very much. That's your box, which now takes us to box number 58, which is for Nick. There you go, Nick. We'll get you started here in just five seconds. Here we go, 58, let's see what we've got. Johnny Marquez is in the on-deck circle, he's taking a sealed box. All right, so Nick, let's get started on yours and see what we can find. Sixto Sanchez sounds like a Western bad guy, says Bill. Yeah, he does have a pretty cool name. Dylan Carlson on the back. Donald Blomdahl says, here comes spot 58. Let's see if my prediction shows. Yeah, we're calling for a big box right here, right, Donald? Let's see if you're right. Is 58 going to be a huge box? We've got some space for so far. And the hit is going to be an Aloy Jimenez. And it is going to be a dual relic. That's a nice one. Jimenez, of course, hurt for most of this year. Still, I would consider him to be a pretty big star in MLB. That's a nice hit. There's Carlson. Now it's going to be up to the autograph. And the autograph is going to be a Daz Cameron, son of Mike Cameron. Not the biggest name. 9 out of 25. Daz Cameron. To go along with Aloy Jimenez. So, Donald, it wasn't the best box, but it wasn't the worst box. Kind of an in-the-middle-of-the-road box. But we still have a half stack here. Maybe we'll hit something crazy in there. Scenic City says, what number are my next boxes? What's the name on the PayPal account, Scenic City? I'll try to let you know. Is it Jeremy? I can't exactly remember. I think it's Jeremy. Jeff says, okay. All right, guys. I'm 28 from one <laughs> from 400. Let's see if this works. All right, guys. Let's see if we can get Jeff. Jeff is very, very knowledgeable about cards. And um, I'll tell you what. He helps me out a lot. Giving me little tips. And uh, dropping me, like, you know, this and that. Actually told me the Leover... Piguero is actually told me I got that text, Jeff, but it was like in between videos. I was filming my stuff. I didn't get a chance to get back to you. There was like a, an uncorrected error in Bowman. Didn't know that. Jeff finds all this information out. So I would highly recommend that you check out Jeff's channel. And he's 28 away from 400. That's, you know, that's a, you know, 28 is a sizable number. Can we get him there? Can you guys help him out? I hope you will. All right, so Nick, thank you very much. And Heather is going to help you out with the link. So there's the link to Jeff's channel. So while I'm cleaning up Nick's stuff, hopefully you'll go there and subscribe to him and help his channel. All right, so spot number 15. This is for Johnny once it's sealed. There you go. Probably a Dylan Carlson autograph in there. We're about due for another one of his. And spot number 60, then, is for Lisa Dominguez. Best of luck to you. Let's go ahead and rip it open and see what we can find. Byron says, Jeff, I'm in. Thanks for helping him out. Dropped to give us the uh, countdown. He needed 28. He was at, uh, so he was at what? 372? Let's see if we can get him to 400. Yeah, we'll find out soon. 383, a little bit of a bump there. Okay, so now we only need 17. And 
And Dimitri says, got you, Jeff. Thanks, Dimitri, for supporting Jeff. 28, you know, it's a sizable number there to get up, you know, bump up there. There's a Ryan Mount Castle. But it's, it might be possible. There's a Jake Cronenworth. There's a Kirillov. Nice Mike Trout insert card. Check that one out. The Aurora. It's the first time we've ever seen one of those. Let's see what else we can find in this. There's a Christian Pache. Hey, Drewski, send me another email, and that's a nice Christian Pache autograph. Looks like um, he's about... That's the face of somebody that just hit a foul ball directly in the... Like a line drive screaming foul ball directly at like a young child sitting in the front row. He looks like he's like, um, ah, no. Christian Pache. Nice autograph, though. Luckily, that the netting that goes all around the stadium is going to take care of any of those issues anymore. I remember uh, last time we saw that, was it Todd Frazier that drilled a ball off of a young girl in the front row? Kind of was like the last straw. And after that, I think it might have been Frazier. After that, maybe like three years ago, now all teams seem to have the netting that extends the whole way down past the dugouts, the whole way down into almost like the... Uh, where the stands just jut out a little bit. Some stadiums have it the whole way almost down to the foul poles. Like, I think Tiger Stadium, or not Tiger Stadium, but Comerica Park has it the whole way down to the foul poles. It takes a little while to get used to. It, at first, I was a little mad about it. I didn't like the obstruction of the view, but, you know, I guess it's for the protection of the kiddos. Since a lot of parents are always distracted on their phones, it's always annoying when you go to a game, you look around, you see bunch of uh, people that paid good money for good seats and they're just sitting down looking at their phones instead of watching the action on the field. All right, so let's see what we've got for you, Lisa. We've got a nice Aurora. We've got the Pache. We're looking for the Relic right now. There it is, Jesse Winker, who's been on fire. You get his... That's pretty cool right there. That is the St. Patrick's Day from March 17th that they were in spring training. The St. Patrick's Day uniform from Jesse Winker out of 25 congratulations on that one pretty cool card right there Let's see if we can find anything else in this last little stack of sam huff the aurora mike trout's worth 190 lisa so <laughs> you did pretty good with the mike trout that aurora insert 190 dollars card someone just looked it up congratulations that's the only aurora insert card that we found tonight and for it to be a mike trout that's some pretty good luck so, Lisa, thank you very much. That's your box. Phase 164 says, two boxes away. I can't wait for you to work your magic, Eric. Thank you. Hopefully, we can um, get you a good box. I'm really, really hope hopeful that you don't have, like, a Mickey Moniac box. We've got 457 taking a sealed box. I think that's um, Jacqueline Strom, so... Get that sent over to you sealed. And spot 62. That's for Raymond. Here we go, Raymond. Good luck. That's Dreamer Believer. His second go-round. Let's go ahead and see what we can pull out of here. There's an Alec Baum on the back, so that's good. Got a Jimmy Fox. Moniac, first round pick, though. Yeah, I don't know why I'm so down on him. Maybe it's because it's taken him. I don't know. Maybe I should lay off of him. I feel like he didn't really progress as I thought he was going to. There's Alec Baum. Mickey Mantle. What do you guys uh, that are Phillies fans think about Moniac? There's a Sixto Sanchez autograph. Chris says, two more. Yay, we're getting there. We'll be there before soon. Heather's got the link to Phase 164. Thank you, Phase 64, for the super chat. Two boxes away. We will get there. It's about four minutes a box. We'll be there in about eight minutes. There's Shane McClanahan. Donna Blomdahl says Jeff Becker just needs 15 more for his next 100. Hopefully he gets there tonight. If not, maybe on the replay when people are watching the replay. If you're watching this and we're not actually live, I hope you will consider checking out 
Jeff's channel. Complete in the box says any 06 Bowman draft. Nah, I don't go back that far. I didn't start really buying cases and boxes in bulk until like 2019. That was when I started really putting some stuff away. Wish I would have done it earlier. Wish I would have a whole bunch of 2018 update, but just missed out on that. All right, let's see. There's a Pache framed mini, an aficionado Dylan Carlson, another Dylan Carlson. Key Brian Hayes. Got out of 25 Machado right there. Nice Mickey Mantle, elegance card. Might be one of the last mail cards you see with Benini. Hopefully Topps grabs onto those mantle rights and never lets them go. I don't know how, ma how many years it's going to be. I don't know if we have specifics on the, the new mantle deal. There's Mount Castle and Stevenson for Raymond. Thank you very much. Abe says, you're going to hate these cards by the time you're done. This is a lot. Well, we're on 62 right now. And we're working our way through it. I don't hate them yet. I think we might have a nice little run of sealed boxes coming up, which will make us progress a little quickly towards the uh, finish line. Now, if it was like 1 a.m., I'd probably be probably really be hating the cards because I would just want to go to bed. But what time is it right now? I don't think we're that late yet. Let me check. We're at 10.45. How are we go? Here we go. Faze says, let's go. Nathan's up. Best of luck to you. Andrew says, how does one get involved in your breaks? That's a good question. You have to be a Patreon member. If you sign up for my Patreon page, it's $3 per month. I post all the breaks there in the post section. Kind of like it's almost like a message board there where I make a little post, and then you can comment on my posts. And the post just tells you about what the break is, and if you'd like a spot, you just comment that you would like one, and then I send you an invoice. And Jeff says that he's going to be photography. Um, I can't, I can't even talk. He's going to be taking pictures of the Twins game this coming... What day is that? That is Saturday. That's awesome. Dylan Carlson. Got a Luis Garcia. There's Cronenworth. Luis Garcia is a nice one. Not the biggest name, but he's got some upside. And you have your other hit right after it. It's going to be Doc Gooden. So an old-timer right here. A Dwight Gooden. Kind of a bum lower right corner, but a uh, Doc Gooden. Not a Hall of Famer. He was on the kind of a Hall of Fame track there through the early 80s. The way he was pitching, he looked so good, but, you know, he cooled off. That person is here says, hello, did you pull any cool ca classic players? Yeah, we've pulled some. You just saw the Doc Gooden. Uh, who else do we have? We had a Charlie Keller, really old timer. We had a Stan Musial relic. We had two Phil Necros. Who else do we have that was an old an old timer? I'm trying to think. There's a couple more. Keith Hernandez, did I say that already? All right, Nathan, let's see. Thank you very much for the super chat. Really appreciate that. If any more pop into my mind, I will let you know. Check the fabric for Coke residue. Yeah, he definitely, um, unfortunately, was into some bad stuff. Ted Williams. It'd be nice to find a Babe Ruth or Ted Williams in this. I haven't found any of him yet. No major super old... Hall of Famer, like a Hannes Wagner bat relic or anything like that. We've, we have found a Wagner bat relic before in this product. I think it might have been like 2019 Diamond King. So, Nathan, thank you very much. Next up, Chris, it's finally your time. I know you've been patient. Chris M. at spot number 64. Here we go. Just give me a second to put Nathan's cards in the box. Bufus says, let's hit that like button. Thanks, Bufus. Appreciate that. Hope you guys will take a second to hit that like button while I'm getting these cards put away. And now Christopher is up. 270 likes. Chris says, I'm ready. All right, let's do this. Spot 64. Virginia Beach says it's a shame because Gooden was a prodigy his rookie year. Yeah, I, I don't really remember because I was still like four years old in 85, but... 
I um, looking at the back of the baseball card, I could see that he was quite something in those early years with all those strikeouts, low earned run average, with high win totals. Helped the Mets win the World Series in '86. All right. Alex, the break is not sold out. I do have extra boxes. If you do want a box, I will send it to you sealed. I'm not going to open any more extra boxes than what I've already, you know, scheduled out for box 79. After that, I'll just send them to you sealed. It's just because it's a work night and I don't want to be up too late. I want to get caught up on some sleep. So if I can get to bed before midnight, that would be awesome. <clears throat> All right, so we have Tariq Scooball. That's an autograph. Jamie, if you'd like to send over payment for a sealed box, you can do that. Just put a little note there that says Diamond King Sealed Box and make sure your address is there and I will send it to you. If you bought into our breaks before, you should have my PayPal. But uh, do it now so that I can put it in the sealed box pile because I'm going to take those down to the shipping station. Sean, if you'd like to have a box, I can send it to you sealed. Jay Diesel says, any on-card autos in this? There's not many. There may have been a couple, but I haven't really been paying too close attention to it. Chris says, thanks, Jabs. I like that. Tariq, you're welcome. Tariq Scooball, I'm glad you like it. Let's see if we can find you a nice relic to go with it. Thank you very much for the super chat. And here we go. It's going to be Sam Huff. The Sam Huff is going to be the relic. Nice Tariq Scooball. DJ says Jabs is about to uh, flick the entire stack of cards along with the spacer. That would be bad. I've, um, I feel like I've got pretty good control tonight. There's been one card that's gotten away. It was just uh, some common card that was on the bottom. Uh, let's see what else we've got. I've got a whole bunch of spacers now, that's for sure. All right, that'll do it for that box. Heather's got the link to Chris's breaks as we finish up Chris's box. Thank you very much, Chris. Uh, JR says, never bought, just been watching the channel for months. How, month, how much? They're $149.99, so $150 a box. That covers the shipping and the PayPal fees. Uh, Baxpack says, if you don't mind sharing, what's your biggest stream gaffe? Um, the 1980 Tops was a pretty bad one where I thought that I wasn't streaming, but I was because the, the, uh, the camera froze and the YouTube app froze, but we were still live. So Heather and I were sitting here talking, like trying to figure out what, what the heck was going on. I've knocked the camera over a couple of times. Billy Adams is up next. He wants his box sealed. We'll do that one. Send that to you sealed and 66 is for bill. Here we go. Bill spot 66. Sean, I do have Bowman for sale over on Patreon right now. If you'd like to sign up, we're doing Bowman Jumbos tomorrow night, and I'm selling it by the packs. You can buy one pack, you can buy two packs. You can buy a whole box if you want to. But, yeah, that will be tomorrow. Let's see what we can find for William right now. In spot 66, there's a George Brett. How much is a pack? It's 59 a pack on the Bowman Jumbos. Jamie says, any free giveaways coming up soon? When we hit 95K, we'll do another one. Might be another month or two, but yeah, we'll get there, hopefully. All right, let's see what we've got coming up. Joey Bart autograph, right? Yeah, that's a nice one. So, William, congratulations on the Joey Bart auto. Still a nice prospect. Let's see who your relic will be now. Not going to be in this stack. No thick cards in there. It's going to be over here. In one of these ones. Hey, Trevor's back. Says, okay, back again. What's the big... Card so far still going strong. Now we had a nice couple Dylan Carlson's, like three out of four boxes. 
some Christian Pache's. Nothing worth like uh, several hundred dollars yet. Here's a Kirillov and a Kirillov. We had a Joey Bart Auto and now a Alex Kirillov Relic. Not too bad for William. Pretty good box. Mickey Cochran out of 25. Dean Kramer. Oh, we had a Mike Trout um, aficionado card, which is worth 190 from uh, box number 60, I think it was, just a few boxes ago. It was an Aurora insert card. First time we pulled any Aurora insert cards tonight. So, William, that's your box. Thank you very much. And Baxpack says that that Soto downtown hit will be well over $200 when it's all said and done. So, thank you very much, Bill. Next up, it is going to be for Andrew at spot number 67. How much longer will this break be? I don't know. Not too, too much longer. We have 79 boxes we need to do. And then if people added a box on, if sealed boxes, I'll go through. I don't really want to open too many more um, boxes because I want to get to bed soon. So I have to work tomorrow. All right, here we go, Andrew. Best of luck to you. Rufo says, do I have Bowman Best? Um, I think I have like one box of it. I don't have much. All right, here we go, Andrew. Let's see what we've got. Ian Anderson found his autograph way, way early in the break. Maybe like first, second box, something like that. Nick Madrigal autograph is a nice one. That is not number, but still cool auto right there. Congratulations on that. You're going to have a relic coming with it. So you might not have to wait very long. It's right here. It's going to be Joe Torrey. Okay, Hall of Famer Joe Torrey back in his playing days with the St. Louis Cardinals. Check that one out. Look at the uh, look at the chops on Torrey there. Of course, Joe Torrey made most of his. He was a, he was a great player, but uh, made most of his Hall of Fame resume with the Yankees and managing. Thomas, is any more available? Thomas, we've got plenty of these boxes available. I'm not going to open any more on camera, so if you want to buy a box... I'll send it to you sealed. I just ask that you leave a little note with your PayPal payment that says sealed Diamond King box and make sure your address is with it so I can get it out to you. All right, here we go. So a nice Joe Torrey and Madrigal. So your hits are all taken out of the equation in this next stack, Andrew, but we'll see what we can find. Dalton Jeffries is on the back of that one. Not a big name. Let's see what we've got going on here. All right, we've got a Kirillov. Some spacers to toss on my spacer mountain. There's a Carlson rookie card. Keep an eye out for those one-of-ones. We pulled one tonight. Got an Evan White. The one-of-ones are going to be the black frame parallels. We got a Max Scherzer earlier. Also looking for the uh, Aurora insert set along with the downtown insert case hit set. Not going to find it in that stack, though. So, Andrew, thank you very much. Ryan says, do you know where Daddy Daughter's been? I have no idea, actually, Ryan. I haven't seen him... Um, He's like popped into a break maybe like once or twice here or there, but um, no clue, man. I haven't seen him around these parts very often at all. I was just wondering that the other day. Like, um, he used to be in charge of all the links, but I don't know. Luckily, Heather's been able to do the links most nights. All right, Tim's up right now. Spot number 68, Tim, once it's sealed, so we will... Send that off to you sealed. Spot number 69 is for Chris. He wants his sealed, so we will send that off to you sealed. Thank you very much, Chris. Spot number 70 is for Brian. Brian wants his box sealed, so we will send this one off to you sealed. Box number 71 is for Jason, and we're opening that one right now. So here we go. Spot number 71. 
Joe says, why did I ever buy a complete set of 88 Tops baseball? Hopefully you didn't pay that much for it. The next circle, we have Julia, and we will be opening Julia's. And then we have Jeremy. So, Jeremy, to answer your question, you will be right after Julia, your next two boxes. All right, let's see what we can find. In this one. Sean, I don't have any 2016 Bowman. The earliest Bowman I have in my stash is 2018. Probably got like four boxes left. Alec Baum right there. And we've got ourselves a downtown hit. Here it comes. So, Jason, congratulations. Scenic City says... Um, Jeremy here, can you send me some spacers with my card? Sure, man. Thank you very much. We'll get that taken care of in a second. We look at the Frankie Lindor, Francisco Lindor. That might be like the seventh or eighth downtown hit we've pulled so far. Congratulations, Jason. I've lost track how many downtowns we've pulled. It's been a number of them. Those downtown cards probably worth about a hundred bucks. There's a Will Crow. He's with the Buccos now. He's traded for Josh Bell. It's his autograph. Not really worth much, but... I do have a really outstanding relic. And even if you don't, you got the downtown case hit. So those are worth at least usually 100 bucks or more. All right, here we go, Jason. It's spot number 71. Got a Joey Bart there. Davy Garcia there. All right. So looking for a relic. Nate Pearson framed. Here comes the relic. It is going to be. A Rod Carew. How about that, Jason? Hall of Famer Rod Carew game used jersey. Very, very nice. Captain Chris is still riding high of that, pulling that accidental double auto last night. Yeah, that back-to-back. -back, that was pretty awesome. Um, I can't remember who they were off the top of my head, but I, I just top-loaded those, those cards up for you because I remember seeing those. I was like, wait a minute. Why is there two, uh, two autographs? And then I remembered. So thank you for the super chat. A nice Rod Carew. Hall of Famer Carew right there. And you also have the case hit. So that was a great box for Jason. Got the hundred plus dollar uh, downtown card, plus the uh, Hall of Famer Rod Carew in there, which is never a bad thing. Julia's up next at spot number 72. Let's see what we can find for you. Give me a second to put Jason's cards in the box. And here we go. Next box up, 72. Braid says, any nice Carlson? We actually went on a Carlson hot streak where out of four boxes, three of the four boxes had relic autos of him in there. It was pretty weird, actually, because somebody just said, we need to find some Carlsons. Or, and then he started showing up like crazy. Michael says, just join. What's the best hit of the night? Probably the downtowns are honestly probably the best hits. We've had we've had Alec Baum autos. We had had Mount Castle. <clears throat> we had Joey Bart autos. Um, so we had a lot of the big rookie like Key Brian Hayes auto. But value wise, it's probably been the downtowns, I guess. Juan Soto downtown, Mike Trout Aurora, which are just insert cards, which are really tough to come by. Here we go, Julia. Let's see what we got. Pee Wee Reese. And a Pavin Smith is the autograph. So you may be due for a Hall of Fame relic. Let's find out. There's a Ken Griffey Jr. Pavin Smith, not a huge name, so sometimes they balance out the box. I feel like Panini, they don't want to give you two blah hits. So let's find out. we got to check that other side of the box and see.
I can see your relic card, I think. It's going to be right there. Can you see that down there? Jamie says, any openings tomorrow? Yes, indeed. We will have for you tomorrow a 2021 Bowman Jumbo Break. I might even, if I have time, I might even do a, a Jabs Family Box for April since it's the last day of April. Haven't put out a Jabs Family Box yet with that. I, I know Diamond Kings and probably Bowman Jumbo Packs will be included in each of those boxes. And the hit is, uh, indeed, it's a Hall of Famer. I called it. It's a Paul Molitor Hall of Fame bat. Very, very nice one. Nate says, please tell me I'm somewhere on the remaining list of 79. Nate, I'll check it out for you in a second. Paul Molitor, Bat Relic, Hall of Famer. Told you they like to balance their boxes out. If they give you a crappy autograph, they usually try to make it up to you with the relic. All right, I'll show you who's coming up here in a second. Uh, so we have Jeremy. He's getting two. Then we have Rob. Then we have Nathaniel. So there you are at 76. Then we have Zachary, Steve, and George. So we have a couple boxes left to open up tonight. Not too many more. I think out of those, half of them were sealed. So we only have like four or five more boxes. And then uh, if you've paid the later on, if you want to take a uh, sealed box, we can send that to you as well. Julia, thank you very much. Congrats on the Paul Molitor. All right, got two boxes. Let's go ahead and pull them out and see what we've got going on here. 73 and 74. If I can get the box open, there we go. Lisa says, I have a one-of-one -one printing plate from 2020 update of Mo Rivera. Does anyone know the estimated value? I would, you know what, one-of-one -one printing plates, tough to uh, tell. I would put it on there for about a grand. I mean, I guess you can always check out um, other Rivera printing plates, see what they go for. Andrew says, uh, PayPal has your old address. Okay, Andrew, I did I make a note of that? I think I, did I? I think I may have. I'll try to remember that. A downtown trout sold on eBay for $1,000, your best offer. That's pretty crazy. I wonder how much it went for. Here we go, Jeremy. Good luck. See what we can find for you. All right, we've got a good one. Ronald Acuna Jr., and it's his dual relic. Pulled a couple of Acunas tonight. That's a good relic, so I'm guessing your autograph's going to be like a Luis Patino. Oh, it's a Sam Huff, so yep, it's going to be somebody not as quite good. Brandon says, I joined the $100 Patreon tier about a week ago. Will I get any cards box from April? I've actually started on the that tier. I, I'd sent it all out, but there's been like seven people that have signed up in the last week or so, and uh, that will be shipped tomorrow. That's my plan, so... Yep, I try to get everything out before the end of the month it's the, with the new signups. Typically, I get everything out by the middle of the month, and then at the end of the month, I go back and do the people that signed, signed up from like the middle of the month on. But yeah, you'll get it. Thank you very much. Eleven oh seven on the East Coast. Looks like uh, I might be pretty close to my prediction of eleven thirty, guys. All right, let's see what we've got. Coming up, there's a Spencer Howard, Christian Pache, Spacer, Dylan Carlson will sleeve for Jeremy. And you already got both of your hits, so these are just going to be mostly base cards. Alec Baum, Diamond Kings, Carlson, Jake Cronenworth. There's a Kirillov. Rasmussen framed and Brady Singer for Jeremy in his first box. Let's get into the second box and see what we can do. Rob's in the on deck circle. Been waiting patiently. Tris speakers on the back. Let's see if we can find you a big time 
auto or something to that extent in here, Jeremy. There's a Joey Bart. Virginia Beach says, what does Heather's collection consist of? Um, I don't know if she collects too much beyond um, like decorations. She does like to decorate. She um, she likes books. She likes old books. One of these days, she wants to have a library filled with books. And look at this. You have another case hit. It's a Christian Yelich downtown. Man, case hit after eight, nine case hits tonight. I don't even know. We found... We might get the entire complete set, I feel like. Every case hit's been different, too, from that downtown. So congratulations. Probably at least about 100 bucks on that one. You get an Isaac Paredes autograph as well. Backpack says, my goodness, so many case hits. So you got a Paredes. You got a case hit of a Yelich, probably worth 100. And now we're going to have a Relic. And the Paredes, I don't really consider that one to be a big-time auto. So maybe you'll have a Hall of Fame Relic. We'll see. Somebody just said, I think it was Backspack, said that that yellow just sold for 80 bucks. So, yeah, those downtown inserts are usually around 80 bucks to 100 bucks. Yellow has not been uh, too good the past two years. So, all right, here we go, Jeremy. Good luck. Let's see who that relic is going to be here. Got an Alec Baum in there. There's a Carl Erskine out of 49. Mike Trout frame card. Thomas with a $5 super chat. Thanks, man. It says, thank you for everything you do for the hobby. All the content you put out, it really makes the hobby very exciting. I really appreciate that, Thomas. Hope you guys will check his channel out. Thanks for supporting mine. And look at this. We have a Hall of Famer coming up. You see that Hall of Fame logo? It is Bill Mazeroski. So, you know, he's not the uh, the most, you know, biggest name Hall of Famer. He was like a 260 career hitter or something like that. Didn't do much with the bat. Although in Game 7 of the 1960 World Series, he did something with the bat. He hit the first ever walk-off winning home run, World Series winning home run of Game 7 of the World Series at Forbes Field in Pittsburgh against the New York Yankees. And, um... Man, that's a pretty cool card. Bill Mazeroski lives like 10 minutes away from me. Or at least he did. I don't know where he's at now. But cool card right there. Jeremy, thank you very much. And thank you for the super chat, Thomas. Appreciate the support. As we get into our next box here, which is going to be for Rob. Box number 75. Backspack says it's probably the only reason he's in the Hall of Fame is that game-winning home run. Well, think about Mazeroski. He was a great defensive player. Think about how good Ozzie Smith was. Ozzie Smith is in the Hall of Fame because of his defense. Same thing with Bill Mazeroski, except he's a second baseman. By the way, um, I think Jeremy asked for some spacers, so let me go ahead and grab you a handful of spacers here before I forget. Get those sent along. I got a whole mountain of them, so I'll give you a big giant handful. Is this enough? Or would you like some more? Thanks, Jeremy. I will put that with your cards so that I remember. All right, next, Rob. Let's get your box going. John says, let me get a pack. I sell them by the box, though, so that's it's not going to work. Because then what do I do with the other 11 packs? I guess I could do it by the pack, because I could use the other 11 packs for my Jabs Family boxes, but I'd rather just do it by the box right now. Nathaniel, you're in the on-deck circle. And then we've got two boxes left for sure that I know that I'm opening. I'll double-check um, PayPal and see... All right, here we go, Rob. Some spacers to toss into the stack. Got a Christian Pache rookie card. 
Looks like no hits in this first stack. Some spacers. Got an Altuve framed. Nothing crazy there. Next stack up, there's a Shohei Otani on the back. Luis Campusano. All right, so Rob, this should be a pretty good side of the box with a autograph and also a, a relic coming out of here. Let's see exactly how good it's going to be. So Joey Bart, I can see lurking coming up. The Joey Bart is going to be a relic. So let's see who your autograph will be. It is going to be not Clark Schmidt. That's just a framed card. No, not Walter Johnson. Might be in the last stack here, last pack. Bobby Dalbeck. Okay, not too bad. Bobby Dalbeck is the autograph for you, Rob. Congratulations on that one. Bobby Dalbeck. That card would have been super hot back uh, around April 1st when the season was opening up and Dalbeck was, uh, you know, just coming off a monster spring training. Hasn't had the greatest April yet, but it's only one month. I'm one of those people that's willing to wait more than one month. Some people give up on players right away. All right, Nathaniel's up next, spot number 76. Let's see what we've got for you. Dalton Varsho shows up. So Jazz Chisholm as well. All right, Nathaniel, here we go. There's the hit, I think. No, that is a framed... Alec Baum card faked us out there because they turned those framed parallels over just like they did with the Al K line. You should do a pack store on Patreon, says Mark. That's not a bad idea, I guess. I don't know if I have the uh, any extra time though to set that up. But nonetheless, it's a pretty cool idea. Brady Singer is in there. Oscar says, are they going to sell us at retail? Yeah, Diamond Kings always has a retail component, so you might actually see it on the shelves tomorrow. Let's see who we've got. Looking for some hits. We've got one. It's another Bobby Dalbeck. So he's showing up. An autograph and now another one. Back-to-back -back autos. That one's out of 99. Bobby Dalbeck. Relic autograph. Pretty cool stuff right there. Waited this long to come out. Maybe this is the Bobby Dalbeck case. It's just like we had the Dylan Carlson case earlier. There's a Joey Bart framed. Dylan Carlson aficionado insert card and i think are we do a relic yes we are here it is it's paven smith so relic paven smith worth maybe a buck or two not the biggest name out there so nathaniel thank you very much congratulations on the nice dalbeck relic auto and now that takes us to spot number 77 which was requested by zach And Zach requested that his box be sent sealed, so here it is, 77 sealed. There's the box. There's the name on top. Boom, it's in the stack. Steve Norman wants his box sealed also. There we go. And 79 is for George. There we go, George. Let me go ahead and open yours up. 
and see what we can find. This may be the last box of the night. I'm just going to quickly double check before I start ripping these packs so I can properly tell you all goodbye instead of making you wait to tell you what's coming up. I think uh, anybody else that paid, I'm just going to do them as sealed if you paid um, after the break started. So let me go into my PayPal account and see the last one that the last payment I should see is George, but if there's other ones, let's kind of let you know in case you did send payment, you can know what's happening. Oh, almost 11.30, 11.19. I see that, um, let's see here, Bill Seitz sent in a, a payment. All right, so we've got Bill Seitz, Eric Gilbertson. So yeah, Eric Gilbertson and Bill Seitz, we're going to send you your boxes sent sealed. I'll put your names on those right now. So this is the next box that would have been for Eric. Eric did request a sealed box earlier. I see that you have your address there. And I just need to find myself a Sharpie. Eric Gilbertson is my computer. Slide slowly down the Relic Mountain. So Eric, there, I got your box. We'll send it sealed. And Bill Seitz, I've got your box. We'll send it to you sealed as well. Here's Bill's box. And that's it. If anybody else wants a box, you can send over payment. And um, I will send it to you sealed. And then you can open it because it's a work night for me. And I'm going to bed after this final box. So just want to double check that and verify. Now let's go ahead and break the final box of the night. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I hope you guys have had a nice evening. Thanks for hanging out for four hours tonight, almost four hours, just under. We start at 7.38 or so. It's 11.21. All right, so Alec Baum is in here. These are $149 a box. That was my cost, $149 is what I have to sell them for. You get... Um, Christopher, if you buy a whole box in any of the breaks, you get everything. But this break is done now. So if you do, if you would send a repayment, you would just get a sealed box that you can, you know, keep, put on a shelf, or open it if you wanted to. All right, so we have a Hall of Fame hit here for George. It is a Roberto Alomar. So a nice one right there, a dual relic Robbie Alomar. So that's good and bad. It's good because, George, you got a Hall of Famer, but it's bad because it means your autograph is going to be somebody that uh, is not very recognizable. Unless we... Maybe we'll have a nice monster box here to finish things up tonight. That would be nice, huh? I will have a Throwback Thursday for you guys, which I will upload right after we finish things here. Just didn't have a chance to, to uh, put it up on the channel before this break started. So that'll be up very shortly. You can check us out doing some 2006 Fleer tradition, looking for Justin Verlander rookie cards. Um, all right, let's see what we can find. We've got a Babe Ruth framed. And Luis Campusano autograph. It's going to be a relic auto. It's going to be the final hit of the night. Michael says, thanks, Jebs. I don't know how you do these marathon breaks. Thanks, man. We've got another one tomorrow. Bowman Jumbos tomorrow night. So join us for our third and final um, break of the week. Then we'll be back again next week with uh, Tier 1, the brand new release on May 5th. Last card of the night. It's going to be Jose Abreu, your 2020... American League MVP. So, George, thank you very much. Thank you to everybody that participated in the Diamond Kings break. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll throw back Thursday, upload it on the channel in the next 10 to 15 minutes for you guys to check out if you'd like to. And then tomorrow, we will have the Bowman Jumbo break around um, 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. So, that'll do it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. Thank you for hanging out, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.